I wouldn't mind pooping to this song. Right. <laughs> this, this might make clear. me poop better. You think it's, yeah? Is that what it does? Makes you duke? Yeah. Maybe duke. Look at those big old tits. Floppers. Yeah, that's the other thing, too. Floppers. They're real tits. Those things are floppers. <laughs> they are fucking... When you do see them out, you're like, that's not a fake tits, dude. No. She's got a big old heavy set of cans. Those are what I call... Those are deep sea those, those, are, those are what I call dug dugs. When you take them out of the bra, they go, dug dug. Dug dug. I like, I like a nice... I do like a nice goofy floppy boob later in my oh. life. Um, I do. I don't mind a floppy set of gnats. I like floppy set of gnats, and I like a small one. I like a li- little tight one, like a nice A cup. I don't mind an A cup, but you mean a f- but not an A cup. Can't be a flap tit. No, I don't like a flap tit. Yeah, like a, like a like a like an egg in a sock. Oh my god! Yeah, like a, like a rough rock. picture. Like what I do when I touch uh, my dog's like <laughs> side mouth. That's what I picture it feels like. Yeah. like a, the, yeah. the chops. Like an, like an uncooked slice of pizza. You have the same stuff on your hands, too? <laughs> Flopper. It's yeah. the bonfire, everybody. It's Monday, Faction Talk, Series XM 103. Big Jokerson, Robert Kelly. Whole crew hanging out. Unfortunately, Jacob, who, by the way, while well, this song was playing, just looking at Jacob playing with a knife. Yeah. <laughs> Like a fucking lunatic. Goes, Are you going to stalk and kill Doja Cat, dude? He goes, she will be mine. <laughs> uh, thanks for doing the show, Jacob. It's from Sonny Flowrider. Look at you over there. Hey, look how happy I he is. I fuck your bitch, you fat motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the remix. Yeah. Y'all. It's the remix. It's um, the remix. It's yeah, the remix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what you say again, Jacob? I fuck your bitch. <laughs> yeah. you fat motherfucker. Fucking pussy. Yeah, Jacob don't play a Florida. Jacob's aggressive. Look, he never. I haven't seen Jacob's teeth in three months that he was home. <laughs> I know. So I'm happy so happy. I know. He's so happy. I don't like seeing his bed in the background. <laughs> He's got like three pillows lined up. Jacob's gonna say he doesn't like Doja Cat. <laughs> now he turned it. I don't think Doja Cat's a Jacob type. It's too much for me. Yeah. Too I'm much. Like, what's What's too much? Yeah. The 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 bottom half is just too much. But. No, cat. stop it, dude. She's like a tiny little thing. Oh, yeah. it's not that she's wearing a spider. Nah. She's got a big booty, man. I'm not into big booties. Yeah. Um, our guest on the show today, everybody, friend of the show. I mean, he's America's amigo. He's the world's amigo. It is Pancho Mike. Mike Fanoia. <sighs> What's up? Mike? That was a character I invented a long time ago for Mike because Mike definitely wore a lot of drug rugs when he was younger, the poncho. He yeah. was born in one. And then it just became a, a Spanish guy named Poncho Mike because <laughs> Poncho Mike just goes around the world experiencing things and then tells you his experiences. <laughs> <laughs> These are just my experiences. Poncho Mike. Poncho Mike. Poncho Mike. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> he please, makes, please, no please, me, everybody. it is you. Sit down. I make my own hot sauce on the road. <laughs> the stuff I find on the side of the road. Oh, if not for you, there'd be no me. <laughs> the things these eyes have seen. <laughs> <laughs> she does have a fucking cartoonishly big yeah. dumper. Yeah, she lost a little weight, but she never lost her tussie. Her Jeez, tussie's too big, man. It's too man. hot. No, you don't mean that. I do. She I gets, like a... Christine, there's a great video of her just really twerking it out. And show these guys how great it is. I, Lou, I... I know you're in on this. I'm talking to you, White Lou. <laughs> Black Lou thinks this chick's a cockroach. <laughs> a cockroach? It's too big. It is. Stop. It's too big. It's hot. You're looking at this one wonky picture. Dude, it is. Doja Cat butt. Christy Google search. love a sweet Jesus. I'm going to YouTube on the other screen. <laughs> I love Video. You. It's five Whoa. minutes in, you're already yelling at Christine. We're Christine back. lives on Google when everything I want is available on YouTube. <laughs> Um, Doja Cat butt. Now, look at that button in the red over there. It's not too much. It's a lot. Man, my, it's, you're seeing it It's because it's... Ooh. It's too fun. much. No. It's too like, much. Right there, it's you're too see, much. You're seeing, you're seeing spatially this is a wrong setup. She's so short in time that's not that big. It's just the biggest thing on her. Yep. It's too it's big. big. I'm with you, Bobby. It's big, man. Thank you, Michael. I'm with you. Well, I'm sorry, and I'm sorry to you, Black Lou, that these guys... Are filthy fucking racists. Uh, That's pure uh, racism. Uh, what you're saying. Has nothing to do. Look with... at her in the bikini. Are you out of your tree? Oh, that's that's a... too Whoa. big, yeah. Jay. It's no, just... that's. That's it's old shit. There, come on, it's right hot. there. 
It's too mushy in there. Oh, you know what that's like? You ever see those like, you know, uh, eating <laughs> like, contest cheeseburgers like when my, you're like, I don't want to even fucking, you know? She lost weight, though. I don't oh. know if you guys heard that, but she never lost her tussie. Can you go to the performance, Christine, that we like that you could see? Boo. She's so hot. Makes me sick. No, it doesn't make you <laughs> sick. Makes me sick. <laughs> you're being racist, Bobby. I'm not being racist. has nothing Is to do with- Is this the world you want your son to grow up in? Yes. <laughs> a world of racism? A smaller world, butt world? A world of flat asses. <laughs> I want a nice Connecticut butt. <laughs> yeah, when she comes it's a out, banana she's, Republic, she starts yeah. rapping in Tiffany Haddish's face. Tiffany Haddish really makes a meal out of her appearance in this. I really don't like it. I want no. Max to have a nice uh, holding a. So really, what you're ass. seeing right here looks like a girl you is not don't think is attractive. No, she's beautiful. No, she's she's, she's pretty, but I don't. I, Look the butt's how too big. It's not. It's big. It's oh, big, Jay. it's so big. It's You're not crazy. like a big fake butt, though. It's Look at Tiffany nice Haddish. Hey, is this really your time right now? It's kind yeah, of my time. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany. And Tiffany Haddish just goes to tr- like a, a so, award shows and gets fucking tatered. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think after this, she, like, <laughs> there's like a video of her just going like, yo, Shakira! And Shakira just leaves. <laughs> oh, yeah, Shakira completely ignores her. <laughs> no, she's very pretty. It's just that butt's too much. It's not, though. Yep. Get her on stage, Christine, I bet, I and bet stop this. Santa Claus would be like, get off. <laughs> get off. Get her off. It's too hot. No. It's, it's too really hot. Yes, yeah, you do. You don't even know what you're talking about. You could, you Look could, how tiny nah, she is. You could defrost a steak with that ass. Yeah, you, you could. T- Look. You guys are out of your fucking it's tree. It's too big, it's not DJ. DJ Lou. It's a perfect amount of ass. DJ Lou, this chick's hot as hell. Yes. You, you're saying two things, Jay. No, you're saying two separate. He's saying two separate things. No. Tell us what the I two know. things are. I think are, she's Mike. very hot. I would yep. never say a girl that's you, body I didn't like was was. I, it, yeah, was no, hot out. is a face, and her butt is a whole other continent, dude. You guys are out of your yeah. tree. And can we stop with the blood? No, what that's her thing. Why do they have blood in everything now? Because that's her thing that keeps saying she's a devil worshiper. Now she, she is. Now see she, that. Okay. We're watching this video. What is this from, by the VMAs. way? VMAs. The it's VMAs. Everybody else. Keep my finger on the pulse, Bobby. Every, you keep your finger on the pulse. Yeah, she's pretty. You should check your pulse. Listen. Oh, look at her way too big. It's what way you, too big. Get out of here. Fucking, you're crazy. It's a dumper. It's a big ass. Yeah, it's a big dumb ass. It's probably fake. Yep. I didn't say it was dumb. You did. But it would. It would takes nothing away from her. Jay, remember when we saw that cool. chick at the airport with the butt implants? And we were saying how she shits like a fucking, <laughs> <laughs> like a Play-Doh machine, <laughs> like a, like a homemade pasta maker. Yeah, you're, when you're when you're, you're back, turds baby. have to get through so yeah, much ass cheek before yeah, it gets to full. to live. Mm-hmm. It's coming out like when someone's rolling roll. tortillas. You ever see those tortilla <laughs> rollers? <laughs> just making homemade lasagna noodles. <laughs> 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 Lasagna noodles and turds. It just lays like a fucking uh, like a oh, like a cake. You, you have to hold both of your cheeks you and mean? spread you them mean? out. Yeah, and get poop. Get and here. make sure you get everything before you Come get up. Finally, I'd hold Doja up. cheeks ass cheeks open so Doja she can shit. Doja cat's ass cheeks <laughs> open. Her Doja cheeks. I'd hold Doja cheeks Don't cat open. <laughs> Absolutely Look at little Nas X. Everyone's getting over him. Yeah. I love that. He went so flamboyant, too hard, too fast. Now everyone's kind of like, all right, dude, it's enough. Don't yeah. do it near me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, get it. Yeah. We, get it. we know who you are. You can go back to that. They just showed little Nas X. The guy in front of him is kind of like, okay, mm. it's yeah. plenty now. Mm-hmm. Yep. Too much ass. She's fucking four foot 11. I did have one yesterday. It's too much. <laughs> That's all the, you can hold it in Woo! one hand, I promise you. All those Bobby. paper Not towels true. flying on stage are for her ass to wipe it off during his, this number. <laughs> <laughs> what, just because they're all covered in oh sticky blood? Oh, my God. He looks like he's... <laughs> a, Look at this guy. He's like, like Liza uh, Minnelli behind him. Ed Sheeran's like, hey... <laughs> Ed Sheeran's behind him. I'm like, hey, little Nas X, can you move your unnecessary <laughs> angel wing? <laughs> I'm trying <laughs> to see. He's wearing a fucking Look dumb hat. Like, can you take off that head, Peacock? Yeah. yeah. Everyone's like, little Nas X, this share looking motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he should be in a fucking float. He's like, if I could turn back time and change my seat. He came too much, dude. He came out too hard, too fast. <laughs> Everyone's like, all right, this gay guy's making some pretty good tunes. And then he's just like, he goes, hey, Method Man, you like my pussy? And he's like, showing him his dick, probably. And he's like, that's not a pussy, son. <laughs> yeah, Pearls are too gay. Yo, I don't like him. Put it away. Pearls are too gay. Pearls are too gay. <laughs> pearls are, when you wear pearls. Like, pearls is gay if you're a lady. Yeah, I mean, you're. <laughs> you have to be an old 
Yeah. Old uh, lady for I that. Christy, do me a favor. Get this grotesque ass well, off the screen. Well, please. Yeah. It's not. I mean, yuck. Except I think her um, styles was wearing pearls, too. Yeah, yeah. He absolutely, absolutely he was. Yeah. And that's thing. another one there. So oh, he's like, his David Bowie. It's been done. The crossover glam thing's been done, and now if you do it, you look like you just look gay. Harry Styles doesn't look like he's taking effect. I didn't think David Bowie and the people who did these things look gay. No. And then Manson did sort of a thing, but he still kind of, it was like the gothy glam thing. Was we'll the idea? It was that. also a character. Won't be on the Thursday, True, like the Thursday, Harry Styles being like, there, "No, no, I'm a guy. Like I'll wear pearls so and a skirt. Day, like why? Mm. You, you, you look foolish. He looks foolish. Of course you're gorgeously handsome. You look like a buffoon. Yeah, Rod Stewart and a gay old lady. Rod Stewart look gay. Yeah. However, he, when he started wearing sp- the about. little spandex and the yeah, like, girl shirts, why is he got to dress like uh, what's yeah. her face? That old, yeah. that old like British, co- <laughs> <laughs> the old British cooking Julia woman, Child? Julia yeah. Child. Yeah, he fucking. And he's <laughs> like, today I'm going to <laughs> Oh God, he stinks. Yeah, look at that dumb fucking <laughs> assistant principal fucking <laughs> shirt. Let me tell you, the, let me tell you the look I'm looking into Christine's eyes and see. She goes, I'd suck his cock off with those pearls. Are you like that, Christine? It doesn't matter. He's making. As I'm saying, the point's being made is that. He's so handsome. Girls are going to get past that. But he doesn't look good in them. You're fucking him despite those pearls. And that's what he's challenging you to do. Uh, And I don't like it. What are you going to do? Blow him and then borrow his heels? (laughs) 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 He he dresses like Max's tutor. (laughs) 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 Who's an old British lady? (laughs) But the fucking Mary Poppins. Oh, God. It's infuriating. He looks yeah. like a young Gavin Rosdale in that picture. Pete got, Pete got jerked into it when he was in that Kardashian world. He got yanked right in the throat on a skirt for a... Did he wear a skirt? Oh, yeah. No. He no. looks like a doofus. <laughs> yeah, somehow David Bowie was not gay to me. Well, I never saw David Bowie wear skirts, but he would do the whole... But again, also David Bowie, the same thing. Artist doing a character. This isn't Harry Styles doing a character. This is Harry Styles saying, I'm so fashionable. I can wear anything. I'm wearing pearls because everything's ambiguous oh, now. So blah, glad. blah, blah. So glad Pete's back to hoodies. I somehow feel like it would be weirder to see Harry Styles in like an Erlacher jersey. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. Just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just wearing a fucking big tie. Is, is that Harry Styles wearing a Tyreek Hill fucking <laughs> Chiefs jersey? <laughs> <laughs> That's even good. Oh, I like the Chiefs. You know, yeah, they're a good yeah. team. He's like, I'm a bear. Look at him. Look at him in a skirt. Like really, like he's just cross dressed a it's, lot. It's it's. it's Cross dressing. It's Again. that's a, that's a blouse from the 1600s. Yeah, it's really. gay, dude. Just yeah, kiss peckers. He's, I mean, not, <laughs> he's not even he's not even wearing like dresses from now. No, that's Which, a pilgrim woman. Yeah, just fucking. Dr- no, he goes, hey, what do you want to wear on stage? And he goes, oh, let me dress like a fucking sister wife. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm gonna get this from the Martha Washington collection. <laughs> <laughs> Martha Washington. <laughs> oh, dude, he is. Utterly hateable. I'll tell you, that's why I like Jerry Garcia. Sweatpants, fucking Velcro <laughs> oh, shoes. Fuck him too. Hanes beefy tea with I cigarette burns. Listen, I can't there stand him. There is some him. sort of thing. I mean, try to look cool, <laughs> but don't dress like a lady. Yeah, yeah. But Jerry Garcia sucked too. I'm sorry. No, don't even get me started. I'm a clip sorry. Of I Jerry fucking... Garcea had belly button sweat on gray <laughs> yeah. t-shirts. Fucking stinks. Ah, will dude. I bet every hair on his body smelled bad. Oh uh, God, yeah. The whole he smelled bad. Like, I think he smelled like. Salisbury steak juice. Oh, uh, dude, his beard was just fucking Ugh, gook. Gross. Yeah, fucking disgusting. Oh, it just smelled like heroin fucking, dust. It smelled like a. Uh, like when rain gets in an ashtray outside. Hundred <laughs> <laughs> yeah. percent. When, when you use a half a beer as an ashtray. <laughs> Wet ash. Wet ash. Jerry Garcia probably never showered. They don't shower, right? They. Like he the, wasn't a hippie. The, the fans? No, the fans don't, but he, <laughs> but he wasn't a fan. Did, did you ever hook up with a... Jerry Garcia? No. <laughs> no. Wait, go back. A go girl? Go back, go back. Did I ever hook up with a girl? More. Yeah. Yeah. Was it terrible? Right uh, uh, the hooking up with a girl? Like, was it the, the terrible part of dude, her I tried smelling? To, I tried to hook up with a girl at Bonnaroo, yeah. and she stopped me, and she's like, dude, I stink right now. Get the fuck away. Ah. Like, she's like, what's wrong with you? And I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm on a handful of Molly and... You're yeah. beautiful, and she's like, "No, get away from it's me." It's not beautiful. She no. was, my pussy smells and looks like old sour. Cream. It smelled like a twenty-minute jam. Yeah, basically, oh, it smells like snake. Sh- oh, got it. Nice.
Power it plan. smelled like a 20 minute jam. Yeah. Oh, basically. It smells like snake shit. <laughs> <laughs> snake shit. Oh. Let me, uh, like burrito run Let me tell you my problem right here, too. This is where how big famous this guy is and how much Howard Stern is not going to take those shots anymore, which, whatever. He's friends with Harry Styles and stuff. But this is on the Howard Stern show. He's dressed like, he's dressed like strawberry shortcake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He looks so ridiculous and so stupid in that outfit. And Howard Stern never mentioned it at all. I want to defend Howard Stern real quick on something, though, which I thought was very funny. So after all that Dan Schneider shit happened, you mm-hmm. know, did you watch all the- I watched it all. The whole thing. Fantastic. It's great. But what? the kid the kid was at fault. It was Drake's fault. You're right. I mean, he, he was tempting everybody. <laughs> I'm t- well, I want to letters. say this. Let me tell you something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, Drake asked for it, sure. Well, he slept over the guy's house, right? Mm-hmm. And you wake up in the middle of the night, and he's blowing you, apparently, Right. And you don't say no, you complete, you finish. You know what I mean? I mean, you should teach your kid, hey man, say no, stop, run, get out. He just let it happen. Yeah, to keep doing it, he's like, he, he goes, he goes, sorry man, that won't ever happen again. He goes, and then it just kept on happening. Yeah. He goes, and every time he just goes, yeah. shit, he goes, next time, it's not going to happen yeah, again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's next like, time it happens. It's like, it's fool, me, fool, fool me once, shame hey, on dude. you. Fool me twice, <laughs> Blow me shame once. on time to spread me, your loving, butt cheeks. me loving blowjobs from an old guy. <laughs> it was weird. It seemed like the whole thing was he would rather let it happen than tell people it was happening. <laughs> wow. Well, I mean, dude, he probably probably gave first of all he probably gave great head so in the middle of it like this is fantastic an Drake. old gay man yeah they give the best head <laughs> i mean it goes it goes old gay men slutty fucking 20 no, year old girls it's a rough thing to have to admit and it's terrible that happened and the guy should be in jail for the rest of his life quite yes. honestly for doing that uh that said you could do worse than that seasoned of a beach being your first one. I promise you, the first girl who blew Drake Bell, he had to say in his head, he goes, This sucks. This isn't as good as yeah, this. Not as good. this isn't as good as Mr. Tim. Yeah, this isn't as good as Mr. Tim. <laughs> what is his name? Mr. Brian. Yeah, this is not as good. 100% it wasn't as good. And you know what? It never got good. It never got it better. It never got better. That's great. He goes, Yeah, yeah he's like, right, He goes, Am I gay? Because I really, that first blowjob, while I hated everything surrounding it, the actual suck felt great. <laughs> he did a good job. <laughs> he smelled like onions, but he, it came he, hard. He went back to his house and s- slept over again. Multiple times. Yeah, and, but again, and again the really the parents is the big thing, too, where it's just like, any adult that would have been like, Isabella probably needs to stay in my house because I'm going to teach her tr- you know, trombone in the morning. And you go, <laughs> yeah. Everything about that sentence just says I'm coming to get my daughter right now. Right, Are you right. ready to your fucking mind? You go, no, she's a sleepover. I used to have a bit. Hey, can I just uh, say something real quick? Sure. He... If he booked the gig, if he sucked his dick and the next day booked the gig, I can understand having some type of, hey man, last time I did this, I got the gig. Yeah. But he didn't even get the gig. Yeah. Like he, he didn't book, he got, he had that happen, then he went back and had yeah. his dick sucked again. If it was some type of like- Oh, he's he, buying himself seasons. <laughs> <laughs> Each yeah. sucks a 10 episode guarantee. <laughs> Do you think he's load? But he's not even the fucking producer. He's the, 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 the dialogue, dialogue coach. Dialogue coach. He's just helping you with lines. God, I was kidding. How about, listen, if it's gay guys, keep them away. It has to be straight white men coaching uh, young boys. To do the thing, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Or or a straight guy coaching a gay kid, or uh, whatever. And women teaching women gymnastics, like the the situation, the, it mm-hmm. always goes bad. Yeah. Right. Every gymnastics girl has some guy weird looking at her in her career or lifetime. Like anyone who does it with any kind of years has some nightmare story. But the father, it's the same thing. What are you sending these these people? Right. The father went up to the people. This is what blew me away. It was such a double standard. He went up to them and said, hey, I'm nervous the way he's touching my son. And they said- Shut well, up. No, he Shut said, up. He said, <laughs> we, you get, he's gay and you're probably homophobic. Gay guys are touchy-feely. Huh. It's like, no, 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 no. So then he got all fucking fucked up because like, oh, I don't want to be homophobic. But the guy- was fucking his kid. Yes. I mean, it's like he had a, a father instinct, like, hey, man, what's good? And they were like, no, nah, he's just gay. Gay guys, they give that vibe, like they're going to fuck your kid. But they, <laughs> Also, Drake Bell. They, and I they, feel- they, that's on you. That's, like, why, that's why I'm not having kids, so I can be outwardly homophobic whenever I want. Also, uh, Drake Bell, who, I mean, fucking, you got to feel terrible for it. Terrible. What a fucking <laughs> awful, awful situation. Um, I mean, a fucking... Total nightmare, but he again keep getting tricked into going back to the well is fucking 
insane to have that keep happening. But he did leave too much of an open-ended thing at one point when he goes, there was sexual abuse. And he goes, and uh, I don't want to say it, but like the worst thing you could possibly imagine. Yep. And you can't just say that to... There's too many me-minded people out there. You're like, he shit in your mouth and then fuck the shit in your mouth <laughs> yeah, my, until he came down your throat and then he made catch it out and then when you shit out his cum and stuff, he made you eat it again with the cum and the shit. Yeah, yeah he exactly. Goes, he fucked my ass. He goes, oh, oh, oh that wasn't oh, as bad as what oh, I thought. Okay, you should, don't tell me the worst thing I could think of because I, I could thought, think of terrible things. I was like, he shit in your ass and then fuck the shit in your ass? <laughs> yeah. that's he made, the worst. He he goes, made a shit no, he just No, he just fucked his ass normal. He goes, Oh, oh, okay. Oh, right. that's, then that's, okay, that's, well, you know what? Just You should have said that. <laughs> you should have started with that, and I would have been like, that's a fucking nightmare. But, like, <laughs> thank God you're not getting shit stuffed in your mouth and ass and <laughs> yeah. fucked, and then you have to eat yeah. the cum shit. <laughs> thank God, not that. Because, so don't leave it up. Just tell your story, yeah. dude, yeah. because you left me. I thought something terrible was happening. <laughs> something <laughs> terrible. <laughs> uh, you set the bar. You let me set the bar too high. You got to tell me the bar. And then I go, that is set terrible. That bar. But not Getting as, butt fucked by your dialogue not coach is awful. Not as terrible as eating shit cum. <laughs> <laughs> not as bad as having to eat your own shit cum <laughs> shit after cum. a guy fucked your shit mouth and shit ass. <laughs> he made a shit pussy in your and mouth then, and, and fucked and, it. And then shit in your ass. <laughs> um, I've been listening to a couple different things of this girl who i believe was in the show alexis something christine look at her up she's uh she was in the second run of all that or something she's married with kids now and she does a podcast um i don't know what it's called one time they had a sign behind her said sickelodeon which i thought was a great title by the way mm. sickelodeon but she now that that thing came out she's kind of some of her stuff's popping of her talking about it and like responding to the whole thing and saying like you know Dan Schneider doing interviews afterwards where he's like, sorry about that. And she's like, he's not even talking about like the worst stuff. And like, because he really, by <laughs> My comparison, Didn't you? made it look like Dan Schneider, like, oh, that guy was just kind of like a crappy guy at work. I mean, yeah. everybody else was fucking kids and yeah. molesting yeah. everybody. So, like, uh, it, they should have opened with Schneider and closed with the guy who was shitting in the guy's ass made him eat the shit cum. And then having to eat his own shit cum, which that, is a that, nightmare. They should have closed with that's him. Like a, that's like a turducken. Like by the of time abuse. you got to Dan Schneider, it was like, he was just a little kind of a misogynistic piece of shit mm -hmm. and let the kids do weird shit on set. He didn't touch anybody. No, no. He, and I, no, we all, that's not, we don't know that for sure. That's nothing that's ever come up. Anybody who he would have touched, I believe, or molested, it would have been a thing. But that Janet McCurdy girl wrote a book where she refers to him a bunch. He sucks. The guy's terrible. Yeah, you know what I mean? Awesome. He's a fucking piece of shit for sure. Mm. Uh, inarguable. But the girl, yeah, there is Alexa Nicholas. So she's been doing all these shows, and there's, you could probably, if you bring up her YouTube uh, thing, I'll show you which video is. It's like the last three minutes. Of, all these people, she's like, uh, I'm going to do a dive for you on Jared Leto. I heard Jared Leto, Leto like has a cult. And he has, and what's that? And he's like yelling things out that may be true, maybe not, but he's like, he's got an island. Like, oh, there we go, the island. And he does a festival for his fans, but only the girls on his island. Is that a real thing? And I'm like, first of all, it's hilarious if he does that. Second of all, if you're dumb enough to go, you go. And like, we have to expose him. But to me, I want, she goes, I guess she goes, and who else? Howard Stern's name comes up. And I thought this was so fucked up, this girl. Uh, his name comes up and she goes, she goes, Howard Stern too. Like, did he ever have like a thing? Did Ugh. he ever have like a Me Too? She's like, that guy's got like Me Too like written all over him. Like what? I think he's like made some amends and stuff as he's gotten older and said and took some accountability. But like that guy, like I I'd be surprised. No, I don't think there's ever been any accusations, but Howard Stern, just say something like that. He looks like he has Me Too written all over him. It's like, well, now you're being the fucking piece of shit. You know what I mean? Like yeah. right. you're yeah. being like as shitty a person as anyone can be. Like Howard Stern, he's probably a Me Too guy. Like yeah. what a weird thing to throw out there it's in the terrible. world. Like nineties, yeah. you know what I mean? Early two thousands. It was, I mean, you look at, I, I, I turned on uh, America's, uh, what's that movie? Uh, Ameri Last American Virgin. Mm -hmm. Just in the scene yes. where the dude's about to fucking just blow loads in this chick. And she's, what, 15? Yeah. And that was a- American Graffiti, too. A, that was like a popular, I, I literally had to shut it off. Mm. Like, if I didn't have Max, I'd 100% watch that. Oops, oh yeah, my he, God. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. That's Troy? Yeah. It all ends once you ride up Troy's bucket. Yeah, he played a lot of shitheads in the 80s. Andy. That's what I mean. They used a lot of the guy. It was Zabka, yeah. the guy of Johnny from Fat, Fat plays. Times at Ridgemont High, another yeah. scene. When uh, that was the one I was talking about. When he. Banging out. Uh, banging out that girl. Jennifer What's, Jason Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, ba she got banged out twice. I know. Remember in American, in American Graffiti? <laughs> I judge her. In the, in the, um, in the dugout. 
Remember? All right, yeah. Christine. Jacob's going to start whacking off. I mean, yeah, we're all going to start whacking off. That guy whack was, off. That guy was hot. Watch me whack oh. off. Whack off. <sighs> but, you, can't, but, you can't make that movie now. No. You, you, you have to. But to go back, I just thought that was such a weird, to go back to that page of her stuff. But you can make that documentary now. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's ridiculous, man. It's a long episode. Keep going down. Scroll down that page a little bit. Nickelodeon, oh, yeah, guy who likes right. kids. Yeah, that's the problem with him. He, he, he looks like he touched kids. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know if you find it, but like it's, it's clammy. He looks clammy. It's in my history on YouTube. <laughs> he looks <Doesn't> clammy. <laughs> he does look he like, like he's, got, he's always like, wet. Yeah, he's got wet hands constantly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Last mm. This is you, Christine. I think. Oh my God, Jacob, honey. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of shitty. I think it's weird to like kind of start start throwing at you like crazy shit. Out there. It's fucking dumb. When you're, by the way, that said, also many years ago on this show, I did say I think Christopher Cross, the yacht rock guy, uh, was got some <laughs> shit with some pedophilia, Oof. and then uh, people were like, "No," and I was like, "I'm pretty sure." And we looked it up, and like, not even sort of an accusation ever in his history. So <laughs> yeah, I guess I did the same thing. We should stop. I've never been more mad at you. Nasty rumors. Yeah. I've never been more mad at you didn't, about that. Don't ruin Christopher Cross for me, please. Like, didn't Dan messaged. Yeah, somebody mentioned like Christopher Cross has never been. I was like, I should say that on the air then. Let people know he has never ever even been looked at sideways as a pedophile. I put it out there in the world. (laughs) Dudley Moore, I think. Dudley Moore, (laughs) that guy definitely was all in the kid pussy. To uh, Goldie Hawn's daughter as a kid, I mean, (laughs) on the set of uh, whatever the fuck movie that was. You know what's so weird? I mean, Harry Styles' outfits. I'm looking Um, at here again. Something happened to him. There was someone touched his little tuchus. There was a documentary that they made Scorsese made about Bob Dylan called The Rolling Thunder Review. And like Sharon Stone at like fifteen or sixteen was like hanging out like on tour with Dylan. Oh, that doesn't blow. I, and they, like not that Dylan did anything, but like his his her her mom was like a Dylan fan, and then they came and he she was wearing a Kiss shirt, and he's like, "You like those guys or whatever?" He's, and then like she just started like get got invited to like hang out backstage at all these shows. But so that, I think there was just weird shit going on constantly. Everywhere. Well, no, there Whether was, it was like touching or not. I'm telling you, it was, a, it was an interesting. So you're saying that Bob Dylan molested? No, I didn't say that. You That's did. what you're saying. No, here's the thing. Also, you, you can only use the the times have changed for so many things for so long, though. Do you know right, what I mean? Why? Like, right. Because uh, the times have been changed for that's the, almost the point. What he's saying, like can these I, I, things, like we were talking when we had Bennington on last week, uh, Ronnie B. When we were saying about it, he's interviewed Sweet Sweet Connie mm-hmm. from the We're an American Band, and I've heard them those girls, and they tell the stories not with like even as older women with perspective now, they're all like, no, we were fifteen, we fucking. Uh, we were 15 we ran in like you know we were backstage with the Allman Brothers and like the one girl I forget which one it was essentially described as being gang banged by four guys or five guys in the Allman like she's like I fucked them all yeah. like, kind of went through them yeah. all and here's the thing she's 15 she's saying okay. but she's not looking back at the, the whole thing's fucked up we realize very much now and also as an adult myself and having a daughter you're like Christ almighty how does that happen to someone 15 but they're not reflecting on it in a thing, and but, no but, one's really going backwards even to say, Allman Brothers, you pedophile pieces of shit. Not they shouldn't but or you should. Have to look I don't at, know. I was talking to somebody yesterday about, I used to, at 15, I remember on the, fu- on the plane, she was like, okay, got me a light. I lit my cigarette at 15, heading back to Boston from Rochester to go to Juvie Hall. I mean, you could smoke a 50. I used to go buy cigarettes. I, mean, I know. We, we kind of progressed with time. You know, back then we didn't know. Oh, maybe maybe you shouldn't fuck a fifteen year old. Right. Back then we maybe you shouldn't. And then they, then they put a law in. You can't sixteen or seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> what a Dude, bunch of idiots! Have you ever heard it? You know the guy Carmine. I mean, these people are fucking crazy. <laughs> you know that guy Carmine Apathy. You know that drummer. Yeah. He wrote a book that was like my life of sex, drums, and rock and roll, and it's all stories about like backstage fucking shenanigans and oh. all about like the fucking groupies and I mean, all that you'd other you'd have crap. to go back and take out every band every before band. 1999 I mean why'd you do why, why mean, were you, you we said the when the standard gets set though yeah. there's something yeah. to like uh, but, like abiding that and it becoming like the norm so exactly like we do realize now Yes. Like, everyone that was getting older probably realized at the time, it's like, it is weird to fuck a 15-year-old, but I didn't think it was that weird when I was 27 or something. Do you know right, what I mean? Right. And then you go, nah, it's even weird for 27 to fuck a 15-year-old. Now. And, and, and I'm saying, they, they can look back and even probably say, I'm sure those guys go like, damn, that is weird, huh? Those yeah. girls were 15, 16, holy shit. Like, Eddie to Vedder. hear that now, because they know. So my point being is like, going at these 
kids on Nickelodeon, like you can't do like by the nineties. Yeah, like by, by the nineties, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It would be like so. It'd be like your parents saying to you now, like, no, no, no. I understand he's your friend and we like him, but we just won't let Black Lou in the house. You should, and you're like, you can't say it's the times. Like, you, like the times are well past that. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, just yeah. uh, just agreeing that black people are here, but I'm not going to let them in my house. It's like any, you can't go. Well, I haven't caught up to the times. Like those times are <laughs> 90 years ago time. now. Yeah. Times, that's your excuse for everything. Well, it's the, I didn't yeah. know the times. Well, the times were different then. Yeah, it, was, yeah. it was the fucking 90s. You could not let black people in your house in the 90s. You it was weirdo. Last week, I mean, you idiot. It was, it was actually 2017 <laughs> when we realized. Well, we went that. through. We were at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and we were walking through, and literally almost every fucking who uh, what who. Who's the big boppers fucking key piano member? Oh, not big bopper, uh, Jerry Lee Lewis. Jerry Lee Lewis. No, he married still... his fucking like what twelve year old cousin or thirteen. Some shit? They they uh, it was the time. They still will celebrate all of those things because you just go, oh, it was yeah, a it different was a time. time. It was different times. It's like yeah. Elvis was uh, the, even way earlier than that. No one. Oh, I remember the news being like, oh, what it was like Jerry Seinfeld, seventeen year old child bride, and I was like. Titties don't look 17. I'm fine with it. Like, I never <laughs> overthought you. Oh my God. And then now at 46, I'm like, Simon, what the fuck are you doing? He was like, my age dating a seven. That's crazy. Yeah, well, the tits were nice, though, Jay. <laughs> those tits were. <laughs> Times were different. Big fucking Mossad tits. Those dude. are big those Israelis. Are 30, those are 32 year old lady tits she had at 17. <laughs> you could go she down really and did. You, you, should, you should actually judge Oil, by God, the body. Gagunga. Yeah, those. Yeah, come damn, on. she had a face like a catcher's mitt, though. Uh, you know what? That, you <laughs> I didn't even see her face. Look at her. Her, her. her smile goes through her fucking eardrums. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that wasn't that long. When was this? Like 90 Shoshana? It was late nineties. We're gonna. This is gonna expose Jerry. He's gonna get in trouble now because this. this oh, yeah, this, is, this has come up a thousand times. That's almost my Nobody point. Cares. It yeah. wasn't. He he's didn't. Also he got didn't so hide much money, it. It doesn't matter. He opened up to it in a world where he's like, ah, people will talk for a little bit and then they'll get over it because they they would like this situation now, which I believe, unfortunately, as a kind of father of a daughter, is completely legal. Yeah. In New York, particularly, what, she was seventeen. I think seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. 17. Okay, so it's completely legal. Joe, Joe, Jay knows all the age limits in every state. <laughs> every state. Yeah. He's like, except for Rockland County, yeah. it's eighteen. And no, you know, I know. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you exactly. Yeah. I'll tell you exactly why I know the New York one. When I was like twenty-three, uh, a girl came to Caroline's, and I mean, from uh, two minutes of meeting her, we went in the green room, and uh, fuck, she was. She actually looked a little beat up. Like I thought she was like, I thought she was gonna be like a young twenties, but like you know, living in a friend's house or something. Right. Uh, cute girl. And then when uh, she told me she when I said my age, like twenty three, she was like, oh me too. And then we ended up hooking up. And then she goes, well, as soon as we finish, she goes, can I tell you something? Can I be honest with you? I was <laughs> no. like, what? And she was like, I'm actually seventeen. And then I was like. What? And she said it. She didn't say it in a tone of like, and now you're fucked because nothing, nothing came of it. I wasn't fucked. But I was just like, yo, that's like fucking, you know, I don't, yeah. I'm like 23. So I'm like, am I a pedophile? Like, I just, <laughs> yeah. I don't, yeah. and like, she actually and, looks at a watch. She goes, I'm 17 right now. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'm 17. You, you just made it. And she blew out a candle. You just blew in my, you blew your load. Yeah. But that's, if she would told me she was 17, even at 23, I would have been like, ah, just count down. No Three, two. That's also just <laughs> shitty for lying. I mean, like, what an asshole. No, I know. The, it's also to spring it right afterwards, like, oh, guess what, though? It's Isn't that like, one of the commandments? <laughs> it was said like, a, you are doing something kind of crazy. There's, Chris, not, a, there's not a commandment on fucking. A, Thou shalt not <laughs> fuck a young person. <laughs> That's not a commandment. No, I you're know. right. Because in those times, it was fine. Literally, you yeah. had yeah, because they were dead by the time they were fucking legal. <laughs> yes, it's the dog years. <laughs> dog years. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Go right there. Let me see if I can find this, Bobby, really Is quick. Is my wife Cerberus? <laughs> Good word. Yeah, it's a dog. Wow. Thank you. Click this. You're this welcome. is that girl, Alexis uh, or Alexa Nicholas. Uh, uh, if, and by the power. way, I agree with a bunch of stuff. What, what people, is this people video? Are it too what easy. is this? What is this? This is her saying Josh Peck is not a good guy. Who's the guy who was Drake's what? partner on the show? She's saying he's not a good guy. The fat kid. She also goes into. I mean, is again, it, is her, it the fat kid? It was. He was fat. Yeah, it was fat. Now yeah. he's not fat. Now, now he's not fat. She uh, takes a couple weird shots. She's Steve O did an interview with one of them or something, and she's like. And Steve O, like he can never live this down. Like he, he he couldn't apologize enough for this. 
He used to have a tattoo. He got it changed. He got it covered up and changed like to an ostrich or something. But it was like just a cartoon of like a dude with like his wiener out and like a baby on the end of his wiener. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, I mean listen, that's great. That's but terrible. she's talking about it with if such. You go, if you go for tattoos, that's pretty fucking. Yeah, yeah, you're not gonna find that on a wall at fucking. <laughs> you're like, oh, let me yeah. get mom and, and the dude the, with a the, baby on his wiener. No, it's it's okay. Let me get the uh, Japanese symbol that means destiny. Life Life and faith, the and prob- then the baby sucking the cock. <laughs> the problem <laughs> with a, one? the problem with a girl like this, and whatever's happened to her, I'm sure has, you get has a lot to do with this. You should get that tattoo at Skank Fest this year. <laughs> I absolutely. And my point is, if I was getting funny tattoo, I wouldn't like rule out like baby on the tip of a guy's. Dick. It's a drawing. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it was like so. Can you find the 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 the, the tattoo? Please don't get it. It's like hilarious. a cartoonishly big boner too, right? Isn't That's it? what I'm saying. It's yeah, like it's, it's like, like a, a dumb, the whole thing's like a cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> she goes at and like, this is why I said this girl, this woman's become maybe from her circumstances or just personality is is probably intolerable to be around. Yeah. Because she goes too much at everything. It's yeah. like this. He yeah. should have to do a shame walk. He should get it removed. He should have to go through the pain of having it removed uh, to show penance for what he did to get that tattoo. And you're like, lady, he got it covered up, which even I think is like, I don't even think he has to do that really, but like, you know, he's got a girlfriend who wants to get married. He's 50. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I guess I get why he got it covered, why does she, covered she, up. I got why does tattoos she, covered why up. Why does she have Velma from Scooby Doo on the back? Did she, did she molest somebody? <laughs> what does that say? She's taking the mask off. That's when they would go. I knew it was you kids or something like that. I these look like they're all. I would have uh, got away with it if it wasn't for you kids. They're all uh, protest uh, thing. That's what I'm saying. It's her whole thing's become this. Yeah. But then when she just starts throwing wild, like, just what is there? It please bring it. It's so funny. Yeah, <laughs> that's hilarious. I mean, yeah, the guy's, look at the his guy's, fucking face. The guy's dude. cranking his own nip. <laughs> Can I say something though? That's a little different than I thought. It's actually him f- f- fucking a baby, and you can't see the dick, right? Nothing wrong with that. No, you do see the, part of the dick. Yeah, but most of it's in the baby, which is a little more disturbing than you it's, described. It's but it's ridiculous. I mean, look at him. How the hell did he get an ostrich over that? He's young and high. (laughs) Yeah, he's definitely out of his tree. Right. I wouldn't recommend the tattoo. I'm just saying she's holding him over the coals for it like you're laughing at pedophilia. He goes, No, it's just a hilarious pick. It's a stupid picture. Oh, now it's he got it covered to a guy fucking an ostrich. Oh no, he's fucking an ostrich. So now PETA's like, wait a minute. (laughs) Exactly. We can't accept ostrich fuckers. By the way, exactly. The fact that somebody would go, Okay, that's fine. It's like, no, you either gotta be angry across the board of this nonsense or just go, it's a dumb fucking tattoo. I promise you Steve O's not pro I would have got a tattoo of me fucking that woman. (laughs) (laughs) That would have been funny. He should have got um the ostrich fucking him, him yeah. fucking the baby. Yeah. And, and then the baby this, fucking somebody yes. else. Yes. An ostrich. And then somebody shitting yeah. in an ass and then him eating it. It's a tribal cum, band. Get a tribal band. And then come in the ass with the shit come. <laughs> And then back, carry the four. <laughs> carry um, the four. <laughs> no, wait, it's got to be your bull. It's got to be your bull. <laughs> um, go to that, that video. I want to see if we can catch the thing where Stern just catches unnecessary shrapnel. Jesus. I wanted to call the show today and be like, oh, did you hear this? This is crazy. Eyes, anything. <laughs> Women ex- do not owe men anything. Anything. I cannot say that enough. Hang on one second. Um, Neither can Christine. Houses, foods, roads, <laughs> electricity. <laughs> we did a lot of stuff. We did plenty. Podcasting. Rock we created podcasts. One wars so yeah. you can have your tits out at a beach. Yeah. Rock yeah, and roll music. <laughs> the guy who does your videos. <laughs> <laughs> your complete yeah. tech guy. Yeah, yeah exactly. The, printing, the yeah. guy who started a printing press to make these <laughs> stupid yeah. posters yeah. behind you. The guy that made the microphone you're using right yeah. now. The inventor of ink. <laughs> you don't need all the stuff behind you. <laughs> your favorite fashion. Icons, yeah, your uh, yeah, the, yeah. the house you're in right now. <laughs> it wasn't a gaggle of women yeah, building that house. Yeah, the reason that house isn't gonna fucking <laughs> the roof's not gonna cave in on your head constantly. Yeah, you it's because a man hammered those yeah, nails. Yeah, yeah. All, all the stuff you put on your face. <laughs> 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 yeah. The people who keep you alive if you need it. Yeah. The person yeah. you hope is doing CPR come that necessary need. <laughs> the doctor. The, the the Christ Almighty, the doctor. Yeah, the, the guy, guy that invented the guy insurance who, that pays who, for it. The guy who flew your guests in. So, hey, I'm going to take out your heart and put another heart in. <laughs> Hold it's going to go great. Hold it's going to go great. <laughs> Thanks, girls. Come on, girls. We don't need them for anything who fucking needs guys most things that i use in my daily life what do i do you cut all the plugs that are around the heart and then you 
put the plug new heart in, plug them back in. Yeah, and put it with a lady heart. Post surgery heart. mimosas. I tell you something. You can hand <laughs> a, f- a fucking female <laughs> nuclear know, physicist a fucking remote control and tell her to get to from the one input to another. <laughs> tell her to turn this, put this from the video games to the to the regular TV. And a, a, a nuclear physicist that's a female will stare at that for eight hours and never figure it out. <laughs> so those things. Yeah. Hey. Hand her yeah. a remote control yeah. and be like, hey, get yeah. from one input one to input two. Yeah. I'll give you 17 hours. Yeah. Next time you need to open your avocado mayonnaise, see if you can ask one of your girlfriends to open it. Avocado <laughs> 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 mayonnaise. <laughs> yeah, we don't need us for anything. Uh, yeah. Shovel your own yeah. driveway. I'd like to see you uh, seven bags of groceries get from the car. <laughs> yeah. 13 trips for you, honey. Yes, yes. Yeah. Have exactly. fun getting on a fucking ladder to put yeah. cereal away. Yeah. yeah. That's what, have fun. Your dog not listening to anything you say. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck having a dog never respect a command in his life. <laughs> Give us a little more of this. Uh, I know you'll hear Stern thing. Just you know, and no one owes anyone anything. <laughs> anything. And I really hope that he, you know, does the right thing. I don't know where she's from, but she's got that Philly. He does Baltimore a little bit of a deep dive into to himself and who he is as a. I think he's a parent, right? He has a he has a child. Daughters. I really hope he's setting a better example and like just realizing where he fucked up there. Yeah, he did. And he got Steve, married. Oh, I can't. He got married, changed his whole format. No, this isn't starting. This isn't starting right oh, here. sorry. I Keep going. She, <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> this is okay. Uh, my apologies. This is, this is. <laughs> Perry was always married. He just traded her in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, but that's what you do. <laughs> yeah. Jay did too. I'm waiting. <laughs> oh, shit. I traded mine in too. Damn. Wow. Damn. Christine's just nodding her head to this woman. <laughs> She's making sense. Christine just signed up for her Patreon quietly. <laughs> I want to show that tattoo on screen. Oh, this is the Steve-O. It's the Steve-O thing. It's just, just to touch back on where... that, you, you know he got... Go, go past right? this. Yeah, past you an this. ostrich? Now it's an ostrich. Right there. Yeah, no one's mad that the ostrich ate the baby. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So what anyways, I guess that's, um, that's it for today when okay. it comes to Josh Peck. I hope that I hear some type of good news when it comes to him maybe she starts telling you what she's going to talk even about doing this it privately nutty. i hope he reached out oh he's blocked <laughs> Sorry. intolerable Sorry, yeah. that i forgot for like a half a second there he's blocked i mean whatever make it a public apology i wonder if he's blocked on instagram there's other ways to reach out What's but it? i do think he should he should definitely make an apology that just Ugh, no one owes anyone shit. And then OnlyFans paywall, Jeanette, oh, deserves so much better than that. So gnarly. Uh, so what day is it? Okay, it's Tuesday. Gnarly. Gnarly. Who uses that gnarly. word? Her. Oh. I say gnarly a little bit. I not. say it all the time. I, I hate it. <laughs> you're, you're gnarly Bobby in my phone. Yeah, but you're, 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 you're from California. Yeah, it's yeah. just kind of part of the language. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jay adopted it from you. <laughs> Maybe. Do you no. Do usual programming. I use it in a different. Uh... I've been looking at the Reddit, but um, is there anything that anyone wants me yeah, to be here you specifically go. talking about? I haven't looked at the Rugrats thing. I'm scared. Rugrats. Did anyone else look at the the Rugrats? Apparently, there's some dark, uh, dark side of Rugrats. It's animated. Yeah. Tommy Pickles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Bugs. Pickles family. Can't wait to get the Bugs Bunny. <laughs> she drinking a Tecate? <laughs> the Three Stooges. <laughs> Oh, she's all lubed up. She's drinking a Pacifico can. She's soggy right now. They'll never be able to see Rugrats like ever the same way. Oh, stop it. So bad. What? It's a cartoon. Thank you so much, Jay. I'm so curious, though. I feel like maybe I should do that on Monday. Oh, I hate, just, I hate singy, songy. Yeah, this is like getting, this is like being at the dentist. She's intolerable. Yeah. <laughs> I hate this. It's gnarly. I, I don't even like her fucking on mute. We turn it back up. She's like, I, don't <laughs> I don't even like her face. <laughs> There's an Ed, Ed, and Eddie one too. Oh. What? I remember that show. 
Everyone got a little. Who's Jimmy Savile? Okay, I'm going to take. She doesn't even know anybody. Anybody this, is um, Jimmy Savile. Is the, yeah. Savile. Savile. That's the way I'd say it. <laughs> yeah. You, 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 you got to leave the volume it? up, or you have to. I'm not stop turning playing. the volume yeah, yeah. down. But one of the, Do you want me to just cue it? See if I can find no, it. No, it's here. It's there's only two minutes left of the video. I'm saying. I know it's the end. Thinking about looking into Jared Leto. Starts, Jared Leto. This is where he starts bagging like on the people. The guy just always he 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 gives me the good guys. Like he should. He's like the third um, wheel. <laughs> For Josh Peck's fucking podcast, just taking like, a shot. Just, there's something I don't know, and I've I've heard he like had a cult or something. I don't know something <sighs> weird about Jared know. Leto. Very very curious about maybe starting to dive into that. I've just heard right. and look out, Jared Leto. You're on her shit list. Never <laughs> given me a good vibe. And wasn't there on on H three? They were playing Jared Leto like climbing a building. <laughs> what a weird Do thing to be upset that with. Is, uh, um, well, you know build, that. Hey, buildings that don't so owe anyone anything. It's like Jared Leto out of fucking What did the building do to him? What did the building do to Jared Leto? Did, did, did the building ask him to climb it? Oh, I vaguely remember something else, man. He casually slanders. Yeah. Yeah, watch this one. Or he like literally almost climbs the entire entire building. And like for no reason, right? Just for no reason. For no reason. No reason. For no reason. Dude, Jared Leto is fucking weird. By the way, fuck Jared Leto, but I mean like well, Jesus Christ. Who cares? It's a great one song. Oh, and also, oh, who's oh, and remember Howard Stern? Ugh. Look at this. That shit I I forgot. That, I mean, I, I feel like he's apparently tried to take some type of accountability. I did hear that, that he has maybe, has he? Someone told me he wrote a book and he like started to realize the deep, you know, unpacking a lot of his shit. But God, was that show so bad. Has Howard Stern had any allegations against him? Like, that's how you know, you know, <laughs> believe survivors. Because like Howard Stern, I, I've never heard him have any allegations. And that guy, you, I, literally, he looks to me like a walking me too, in the sense where I'm surprised what that he cunt. wasn't the first person <laughs> to. I'm surprised have an he wasn't the first him. person to have the allegations. He has Perez the face Hilton. of a me too guy. Yeah, he <laughs> looks like. What a fucking. Jesus. What a no, rag cunt. Based on nothing. She doesn't like <laughs> based the way he looks. Of nothing. <laughs> Everybody in this room has a me too face. <laughs> what That's the wild. Fuck, dude. There's different levels of me too That's face such right here. Because he looks like the first guy who would have got me too'd. Oh, that guy. <laughs> I heard he's nice now, but oh, she's piece like, of shit. Shit. She's like, what about the time to make the donuts guy? You ever see that asshole? That guy looks like he definitely smells panties. Yeah. That guy probably blew a donut that didn't ask for it. Wait, what about what about the micro machine guy? That's, that's wacky. Isn't that wacky? You don't just that's such a responsibility. Yeah, but it's her slander. Her, what, she found her thing that gets people riled up and Does she now have a Patreon? and now she's and people in the chat seem to be bringing these people up. But she's making the the energy <coughs> she gives off is that I'm charging for the side of good right here. Yes. But she's actually like you're charging for the, so I'm listening to these things. I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt on these that she has an opinion. She knows these people, a lot of them, and she's talking about their responses since and all that kind of shit. It's interesting. Watch her stuff. I mean, plug no, her. Thank like, you. Alexa Nicholas, I think. Let me tell you, Big Jim, this, I mean, she she would, she would, Big Jim would talk to her. She, she'd she quit the business. Oh. With the oh, stuff yeah. she's saying now, one, one conversation with Big Jim after this, that'd be the end of that show. <laughs> you just can't keep bagging on everything. No, but here's the thing. You know, Wasn't there something about stuff, Mike st Fanoia banging kids or something? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She will lay it out like that. He goes, <laughs> Black Lou, he goes, you raped a girl and got away with it in high school, right? <laughs> no? I don't know why. Didn't what, I am I th what am I thinking of then? Didn't I hear about <laughs> Jacob having kid bones in his trunk? <laughs> Isn't Jacob sleeping in a little boy's room yeah. right now? Don't you have no, a piano made out of baby bones in your he room? Goes, uh, wait, correct me if I'm wrong, everybody. Everybody out there in the world, but it, Jacob like definitely fucks kids, right? Yeah. Like, I heard that somewhere. I don't remember at a I, party or if it was something I made up, but I heard that Jacob like he, definitely fucked kids. I'm gonna do a deeper dive on it yeah. and see what I can find, see what I can dig up. I heard, Didn't he? I heard, I heard the only way he can come is with Legos around. Yeah, right. Isn't it? Doesn't he have to like do he, a puzzle? He has to, yeah, he has to do like make a Lego ship. or <laughs> Some type of Star oh Wars figure, and then they just shrug you off. Where they go, like, "Well, hurt people, hurt people." <laughs> like, yeah, what? No, yeah. no, 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 no! You can't. 
How would Stern? Is- he definitely <laughs> fingered one of his like employees or like like made them do suck his dick or something. I don't know. That's just what I think because I looked at his face. A walking, <laughs> like, a walking I, me too. What a horrible fucking thing. 101, to say. man. She broke every big gym rule there is. <laughs> every big gym rule. Wow. He knows tolerable. nothing about radio. Well, this is not slander by saying that lady seems intolerable. By the way, unless I'm wrong, and I might be wrong, and I apologize if I am, I'm pretty sure her problems with Nickelodeon, like, again, there's people over there getting butt fucked, and there's people over there having to, like, lick their own toes and shit for people. A lot of her stuff seems like, and then he would be mean to me and say, I need you to act better, or I'm going to find another person to play this role. He would say things like that to me. It's like... Yeah, it sounds like he was like a dick boss to kids, but yeah. like, I mean, I don't know. Like, you know, Drake, while that was happening to you, Drake was biting onto a ball of twine yeah. <laughs> to, to not scream while the guy teaching him his lines Jake was, was fucking, had his dork up his cram. <laughs> Jake, Jake was biting a Liza Minnelli pillow. <laughs> Every other Wednesday. <laughs> Eliza Minnelli huddle. He goes, do you know how uncomfortable a sequined pillow is on your teeth? <laughs> it hurts. Do you know how uncomfortable it is to get fucked in the ass while three shih tzus are barking in your face? <laughs> and even if you tell yourself, I'll just sink into the music. You can't sink into Liberace while the guy's liberace you. liberace you. It's just too real. <laughs> you can't enjoy Liberace while you're getting liberace <laughs> right where the candelabra goes. Uh, liberace is a bird. Just the fucking craziest thing ever. Getting liberace Getting liberace Poor Drake. Oh, poor Drake. Poor Drake. Everyone else, he, all, he must have watched that documentary like, one, why did they wait till episode three if they weren't going to make it the finale? Yeah. How is that not out of the gates? Yeah. Drake got butt fucked. Yeah. How is that not story one? The first thing was just like, Dan Schneider was on head of the class. Then he started getting pretty mean and wanting massages. Yeah, he wanted yeah. massages from middle-aged women. And then they jump and they're like, and then Drake got butt fucked. And you're like, holy shit. Yeah. And, they go, and the next episode they were like, and then feet. Yeah. They were looking at everyone's feet. Yeah, then he, he goes, said, nah, dude, you got to work feet, then butt fucked. Yeah, it can't go, <laughs> it can't, it can't go, it can't go, uh, uh, massages, <laughs> butt fucked, and then, uh, are women funny? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I know, really. <laughs> what? Women can do taxes, too. Uh, he, he, he goes, he goes, yeah, he goes, they gave us two salaries, and whatever, goes, or one salary. It's like, okay. Okay. <laughs> fight for that like yeah, but, these things are not they were like by the way the one they're glazing over when he came out and he was like yeah i said some embarrassing things i did some embarrassing stuff and the guy really didn't hold him over the coals at all like i would have the first specific i would ask dan schneider he goes did you really make that one girl writer bend over the table and act like she's getting butt fucked or fucked from behind while remember he said that and yeah. she was like yeah you know that happened and i did it i go I, uh, call me a fucking lunatic. 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 You're playing along. <laughs> you, I don't think that came to a you're going to lose your job if you don't do that. I, I hate to say that on the thing. I'm not saying this lady wasn't treated shitty or anything. If you bend over and act in front of a room full of people like you're getting butt fucked, yep. and your fear is if you say no to that, you're going to get fired. Like you should, It was like Todd Lynn used that excuse when they did the song about the tsunami where people got killed mm-hmm. on uh, Hot 97. I think it was, and he was like, which is such a lie anyway, but he was like, they came in and told us if we didn't do the bit that we'd be fired. And I remember Patrice saying, he goes, well, then get fired. Get fired. If you don't believe in it, right? then get fired. So it's like, she's like, I have a feeling it was a room where it was like, uh, you know, if, if, if you said to Christine, it wouldn't be crazy if we were joking. You go, ah, uh-uh, Christine, uh, like you were getting butt fucked. Do you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't be like, well, Bobby's like crossed lines. Like, nah, we kind of all kidding, and that's like you're joking. And yeah. if she did, I mean, Christine, we can't even get Christine to say simple lines. But if you were to get her to read something like that while getting, but she said the, some pretty bad stuff on the show. The question wouldn't. <laughs> she the question wouldn't start an HR fucking uh, uh, dilemma because not that she couldn't, but it seems like the energy in that room was that of such that you also did the thing. You did it, and it wasn't like. If these stories were, he took me in his office and he was like, uh, you could suck my dick right now or you could say goodbye to this job. Like, yeah. that's, a, that's a fucking, like, yeah. whoa. And I know there's in-between areas because if that's not how they talk to each other, him and that lady, 
then she should have been like, oh, fuck you, dude. Yeah, Are you totally. out of your mind? Like, yeah. I'm going to go. There is HR still higher up at Nickelodeon. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. there is I'm a gonna rule. Fucking, I'm going I'm to make this a thing. Or, or at least I'll go become go a millionaire. Go to the next office and go like, hey, this dude just did yeah, this but, shit. But, she, but even if it's your dream job, you know what I mean? Like, you, if somebody said that, you know, I'm going to fuck you in the ass in front of me, pretend fuck you in the ass. You could just say no. Right. And you'd be like, nah, I'm good. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Like yeah. if Jay was like, I want to fuck you in the butt, pretend to fuck you in the butt in front of everybody, I'd be like, no. I mean, inside yeah. I'd be like, yes. Uh, yeah. Why? You are, why? <laughs> yeah. Inside you'd be like, why are you doing this now in front of everybody? Yeah. <laughs> this was for snake pit tickets. I, was, <laughs> I wanted the snake pit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were only second tier good in the sack. <laughs> That's by the way. Is that someone? Did someone? Uh... Falcone sent in Styles in a jersey. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> she also, she... and he looks like an ass. He does look like and an look ass. And look at this: a guide to what's fake in the Rolling Thunder Bob Dylan story. A teenage Sharon Stone wasn't on tour. Kiss didn't inspire the makeup, and a whole bunch of other things. It was made up for the fucking documentary. Somebody just tweeted at me and said, "You can't believe it's anything." It's, I mean, it's, but it's a Scorsese documentary about Bob Dylan that's and Sharon nutty. Stone. And nutty. now they're like, oh, it was made up for the documentary. That's fu that's nuts. It's everything's fucking. You can't, you can't believe just, anything. Yeah, it's really bonkers, dude. You can't believe anything. Um, so Harry Styles is a pack. Ugh. Yeah, fudge packers. <laughs> oh, but so All right, well, the uh, guy's got a Green Bay and a Cowboys star, so this guy's deaf. I guess, I guess his ex-boyfriend was a Cowboys fan. His new boyfriend's a <laughs> Packers fan. Uh, Look at him. He's got the big old fist and fist on, too. Christine, the why don't you have fist. a Sixers or an Eagles tattoo yet? Wow. Oh. I'm going to. When? Do it. I don't know. Mm. I what what tattoo Maybe would Skankfest? you have to get? For as a Christine to support Christine's likes, what oh, would it be? Fucking sub, yes. the word sublime yeah. in old English. Some type, sublime son. Some, some, would match some type of oh, weird. Sublime son. That's she hilarious. Get a weird tree with a crow in it or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A, something, a dream catcher. Something yeah. macabre. Yeah. <laughs> a dream catcher. Yeah. Some type of smoke coming off of a rock. Ooh, would it count if I just got the name Dawkins? Ooh, on me? we have. We have to take a break. But here's the break. good news, everybody. No reads. Everything okay over there, Lou? Yes, the whole channel yeah, wide. Yeah, nobody has fine. reads today. Nothing. No one on the whole channel. No, that's right. Lou, is that a lie? No, I swear to you. No, all week too. Well, no reads all week. That's right. Really? I tell you what. Why we, we're getting fired? I tell you what we got. Hey, text we, Jim. We did get what? We got our bricks. We did get our bricks. Ooh, we had a great night at Paramount. Great Mike news. Was there. Great Turns news. out you don't have to sell it out to get the bricks. Well, you guys are awesome. You have to, you have to sell more than a hundred. <laughs> what a fun night. <laughs> We really had a great show. night. Fantastic night. We'll talk about it when we come back. Yes, we will, everybody. Uh, RobertKellyLive.com for all his dates. Riot Comedy Fest in Houston, Thursday, April 4th. Mothership in Austin, Texas. And LOL in San Antonio, April 11th through the 13th. Lafayette, Boston, Sarasota, all on deck for tickets and tour dates again. RobertKellyLive.com. Mike Fenoy is going to be at Vermont Comedy Club this weekend, everybody. Thursday through Saturday. For tickets and all tour dates for Mike, go to MikeFenoya.com. I'm big, in Vegas this weekend. Big J, you're in Vegas at Wise Guys. Brand new club. Awesome club. Yeah, the new one, yeah. I can't wait. You're going to be there this weekend. And then you're going to be in Jacksonville, Virginia Beach, and San Diego. San Diego. Mikey's going to be at me in San Diego. Where, what, what club in San Diego? American Comedy Club. Nice. All right, great. I love that, bro. With the secret wall. Yeah, so uh, cool. For tickets and all of the tour dates, go to BigJComedy.com and check out his special on YouTube right now, Dog Belly. Should we tell anybody, Christine, about the thing for Wednesday? Adam just tried to... This is TJ Miller, and you're listening to The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Robert King. The crib breaking drinks and two with By 55 of them. What hooks you? Everything. Take it all the time and don't say anything. I don't know. It's just crazy I'm, how I'm, fast he got hooked on it. I'm thinking I'm out. I think I'm out. That I just put. I put. Can yeah. I try one? I've never tried one yeah. yet. You really want that? I don't give a fuck about that. I've tried chewing tobacco. It's all nasty to me. I'm just curious. Like, what? I'm gonna, what's the feeling? I'm not worried. I smoke cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, but just don't swallow it. I mean, by the way, I should. If I could switch to this from cigarettes, I'd be <laughs> doing a phenomenal job because these <laughs> things are like the salt. They're not even like they. They don't really like uh, fuck your gums up and shit. I don't think. No, they're like Nicorette. It gets it, for me. It's when you put it on your bottom gum. It's a little more oof. A little more. It, it goes in a little quicker. 
Yeah. I don't know. Put I put it in the bottom. Go down. Go down. All right. Do down. Right there. That's it. I just let it sit. Take it's a so sip. minty. Take a sip of water. No, right. no, 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 no. <laughs> don't, you, don't don't listen to him. Why not? Because you? then you're it, swallowing the fucking juice and it'll make you nauseous. It, it, no, it just wets it. You're supposed to swallow the yeah, juice. Yeah, you're supposed to. Yeah, you're supposed to. You can swallow what? the juice. Yeah, you can swallow it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not tobacco like you have to spit Dude, it out. Dude, I used to be these, able to- uh, These I used... are ons, by the way. These are different. It's the same thing as Zen, but it's- a, it's, it's it's just cut up pieces of the sneakers? A, it's a little- No. It's actually all natural. There's not really anything in there that can fuck you up. Come on. Well, uh, they yeah. don't make this shit to not get you addicted. Read, read, read the, uh, sure. Read the, uh, and they're going to find ni- out. It's nicotine and, uh, and then it says, uh, menthol. Ni- it says, warning, this is product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive thing. That's, <laughs> that's the Did thing. You just that read makes me the Surgeon General's no. warning. They don't have anything that makes you addicted. Dude, I used to be, I used to be able to skull mint. I could put in a fucking half a thing and drink with it. Right, yeah. and then I'm on a date at a bowling alley, and I go. I was trying to be cool. I go, my buddy Justin. I go, give me some dip, and he had Kodiak, which is like finer cut. Sure. And I took a swig of like soda, drank half the dip, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't, Jay, like a sick different. cat, dude. I crawled across the bowling lane to the bathroom and stopped like five times and was like, ugh, ugh, yeah. and just puking I, the whole I fucking time. It's Shane, horrible. I appreciate Shane being a zen head now though, because when he was chewing tobacco. Gross. When he would come over, leave spit cups and oh, shit. Oh, dude, the spit thing being left behind. Would, I, I don't. Even if it's got the lid on it and everything, I still go pick it up with a fucking paper towel around it, like I just found a dead rat. Yeah, it's yeah. just like that's So I just know it's like it's it's spit. This yeah. is it's gross. Gonna, it's gross. Yeah, yeah. I, I took two. I took. I did two at the beginning of the show, which was a dumb move. And what's it making you feel? It's a lightheaded, nauseous it's a too much. Not nauseous. I don't get nauseous of it. Just it gets you fucked up. Yeah, I'm a little fucked up. Like I need a sugar will uh, counteract counteract the nicotine. So if I I wish it I had does. like a little yeah, it does. Like when you from? when you when you smoke a cigar, a lot of cigar guys will carry like Jolly Ranchers with them. So if they get a little whacked out, if it's too heavy of a cigar, they'll just put it down and suck on a little sugar. Well, that's why a lot of guys will have like a Coke. When they smoke a cigar, because mm. the sugar from the Coke will uh, neutralize the nicotine. Jay, every time I have a cigar, I pour a half a box of nerds in my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Just I, mean, the nerd. I mean, that has nothing to do with nicotine. <laughs> you hate it? You done? Uh-oh. Is it done? Uh-oh. You don't like it? You going to throw up? No. Oh. It's boring, right? No, I'm not gonna, I feel fine. It's just, I, it's just it's like it? burning and like, I'm like, eh. It gives you, it gives you a little nicotine, but it gives you. Also, both of you, you smoke cigarettes, you smoke cigars. I'm like, you probably don't need more nicotine. <laughs> yeah, no, you probably don't need that. I don't need no, to go I'm to massage parlors. The thing is, like, if I, I, like I don't need to go get jerked think, off by a middle aged Asian woman. I don't think you should quit with you those. Do that. I don't need to buy a a thousand dollar lighter. Do you want sugar I, for real? Huh? Do you want sugar for real? Well, you offering me something? I can get you some. Sugar oh, for you, real. I bet you can. Or she just comes over and gives you a soft kiss in the cheek. I have oh. Altoids. You want just, Altoids, Bobby? It takes away all you the... some sugar? Yeah. I want some Altoids? I got them right there. Um, Yeah, I'll take an Altoid. I'll a help little you. bit. A little, little, uh, my forehead's a little floppy. You got to quit cigs. Yeah. Yeah, cigarettes are, cigarettes are terrible. Yeah. It's yes. the worst of the worst. Mm-hmm. And the tobacco. Uh, yes. in a, a t- the tobacco in a cigar is the premium tobacco. It's like the top of the line of the plant. A cigarette is the shittiest from of the Blunt t- Farms. It's terrible. Ooh, these little strawberry ones. Can uh, I take cinnamon. three? They don't make strawberry. Those are Xanax. Um, <laughs> you guys wake up, you guys are fucking me. The strawberries. <laughs> Dude, you're getting liberace I'm, I'm getting liberace You wake you're up and your mouth, your mouth and ass are getting liberace by me and Mike. <laughs> Christine's feeding feed me a Snickers. <laughs> Bobby. Oh, Come back to life, Bobby. Yeah, cigarettes are the worst tobacco. It's like the scraps of tobacco. And then they put all kinds of Not chemicals. the American spirit ones. In the, oh, they're the worst. Um, a tells joke's the best, though. He goes, I smoke the Native American cigarettes, because what reason would they have to want to hurt us? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, and Christine gets back. I want to find that. I didn't see this video yet, the John Mellencamp. Yeah. Oh, I saw that, yeah. Yeah. I watched... Uh, uh, it's a, uh, but we should say something about uh, Thursday night, though, was a... Fantastic. Fucking great night. Thank you guys so much for having me. It was me. fun. You killed it. Lewis killed it. Everybody killed. The, it was a packed out venue. Yeah, it was the pretty, fucking crowd was off. They were great for a Thursday night crowd, too, especially. Like, 
It was cold. It was everything. And the people came out and fucking showed out, man. It was awesome. It was awesome. pretty funny, Super though, fun show. We all went on at the end together for a little bit. Came mm. out the end. But Jay, <laughs> we found out that when we're in the back, you're, you're a... I'm more like the lead oh, singer, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're like the drummer. You're yeah. you're in the back with like this the packed green room, people everywhere. Every friend and comic who Every was like, friend. "Can we hang?" I'm like, "Come hang." I, I had I invited nobody. Yeah, and I was in the other room. I was in the other room going over my notes. You were like Dewey Cox. People are like, "Where's Bobby?" It's like Bobby's got to go through his entire life before he goes on well, stage. I, I, I was, <laughs> I'm, just a, the I'm just a different. And I'm Jay, with you. Jay was like, "Dude, you want me to?" I'll kick everybody out. I was like, no, dude. I love that everybody's here. I love the green room was packed. There was some chick with face tattoos. I don't know who the hell she was. Lindsay Jennings. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> just staring at me like, who are you? Yeah. And I was dude, like, I all right, that. whatever. It's great. But I, I was like, I'm just going to slip into the little... I went into the side green room, yep. had my little notes in my protein bar, and Jay comes in. He's like, dude, you good? I was like, oh, you're the best. You just want to be alone. No, I'm. it's just a, a different... Uh, He's got to find his center and hit the zone. Well, yeah, we're, we're, hit your chi. we're a little different. That's all. We're just different before we go up. I like to, you know, go up. I have like a little thing. Like I have to write down my little what I'm going to do, and yeah. I'm not doing that. It's not a headline thing. So you got to do. You're doing 30 minutes instead of this. So you got to make sure. I don't want to fucking be up there and go over. I'm going over all my things, and then I would pop into the green room, and Jay's just hanging out like Motley Crue, dude. I <laughs> it's like I know. fucking shit everywhere. There have been times, dude. I mean. Jay, how many times, right? You and I are bullshit and backstage when like some the host is up and I can't we can't tell when he's lit, sure. how much time is left. And you could tell I'm getting a little kind of <laughs> antsy. You're like, buddy, oh yeah. Like, you're it he's no. like, It's cool, dude. You go on like he's got more time, you know. And Mike's got a little if Mike's not having drinks at all though, like this his tolerance at the end is pretty sure. At the after the show in in uh, so Thursday by the time Mike came over to say goodbye I remember a couple people like near him were either like trying to hand him a joint or just being like hey Bubba and Mike Mike, Mike reminds me of uh, do you remember that was it Christmas story remember the guy who was behind going like, uh, was like do you like Santa I like Santa <laughs> and then he just turns around and he's like all busy he goes Yes. He goes, don't bother me. I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. It's like, that's funny. Mike, yeah. Mike's energy is don't bother me. I'm thinking. People are like, he goes, hey, are you? do you live like here or do you like live out of town? He's like, Connecticut. <laughs> and he's like, Mike, be nice to people. That's not how I after, am. after the show, I'm fine. Like after, I'm like, let's hang. I'm, I no, came so out. I've said, if yeah. Mike's like, if we're hanging and having yeah. drinks and like bullshit and stuff and hanging out. For sure, my I've been working Mike. on that. I'm getting better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, with, I'm with you though. I'm like I'm getting uh, better. Yeah, I don't dude, know. Are you fine. a short? Per- are you a very short like person with that? With people like I had this weekend, I was getting anxiety. Uh, Justin opened for me at Levity. Hey. And Josh uh, just came to hang because he really can't perform yet because it was a uh, surgery. And he came, and I would talk about talk thank, about thank two God. people. <laughs> talk about two people. Who are you are awkward when like they're dealing with any you know Josh is even on the show he ordered a seven course meal each night <laughs> Jesus Christ he's, and also asked for you know he, he'll be looking at his phone and they'll come in with like they would come in with uh, food and he'd be like over over there over there he's looking no. at his phone right, down there right there cool you know and, well, and they come in and they go do you want anything like we're gonna close up the, the I do I don't mind. and it's like you know they had to go find the last of the fried Oreos or whatever and like I mean sliders salads nachos appetizers out the wazoo he just kept going and Justin's similar thing too which is like they're very like curt like people and it just sounds like I'm just such the opposite of that I'm like when they bring in the th- the food, you're like, oh man, you didn't have to do that so fast. Like that's that's so fast. Thank you so much. I appreciate. I'm like that guy with everything. Yeah. Maybe even that sounds doofy in its own right, but like, uh, Jesus Christ, that was a toughie. Uh, when I came into the dressing watching room, them, I'm like, does everybody here hate us? You know. <laughs> you know what I have? A, you know what I have? That, that girl in the green room. I don't know who she was though. She was kind of fucking. Yeah, yeah. I don't know who she was, but yeah. Lewis was like, "No, she's fucking blah, like she's hilarious." I'm like, first of all, I'm not taking your face <laughs> yeah, t- tattoos. Yeah, I'm not taking your. Okay, she's hilarious. So I'll be the judge of who's hilarious. <laughs> and I'll, and then she was giving me some attitude. I go, I go, I'll kick you the fuck out of here. Yeah, I go, yeah, my yeah. name's on the front, but I think she works there too. I don't know. And, I, and then I, I was just fucking with her though. I was sure, like, sure. Fuck you. And I came back. It was just me and her. Uh, I was like, hey. She's like, you do you hate me? I was like, no, I don't hate you. 
We just, you weirdo. I was, yeah, you weirdo. I was just fucking with you. You know? <laughs> um, but they yeah. came in with our bricks, and the funniest part is I kind of knew we were going to get a brick. Yeah. But when you, when you, when the guy came in with the brick, your know, face, you were so like, I got one? Well, no, the first thing I thought it was a pity brick. It's not a pity brick. Which <laughs> I was super upset about at no, first. My so- first thing was kind of like, oh, they're just giving it to like, we already engraved them. We thought you guys were going to sell out, so like, yeah. you could take them. It's That's just a gender like. reveal. Take your brick. brick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, don't, they give you a brick. I mean, we sold great. It was amazing. We were very close to people selling there. out. It was great, dude. It was insane. It was packed up. So they they give you. I mean, if we sold a hundred tickets, we wouldn't have got a brick. Sure. But we sold hundreds of tickets. So we got brick our bricks. City. We got our bricks, baby. Brick you, City. Yeah. It was so much fun. It was great. You killed it up front. That's a hard thing to go out right up front and get them going. And it was you killed it. Yeah. It was great. I really appreciate yeah, that, you, Bobby. You put them in the a really good mode, and you then you. It's, there's a funny part though because you went up in between me oh, and Jay. Dude. Uh, you came up because I just ate my. <laughs> you went up and did fucking a minute between me and Jay. I don't know why. Oh, buddy. I, it was a whole thing. I, I was so funny. It was a whole thing. I was like, you want me to do a bit? Or, it, it was, and again, I know this energy too. This is what me and Mike also share sometimes. He was like, do you want me to just bring you right up after Bobby? Do you want me to like, you know, like do a bit and like, you know, do a minute and just kind of get him settled? And I was like, I was like, yeah, dude, do a bit. And he's like, you don't want me to? It's like, that's the first thing. You're like, you're like no, you just asked me if, if I wanted you to do one or not. And I was like, yeah. Sure. I thought, I thought for, a, for a second and I went, yeah, of course, do a bit. Like, yeah. and then he goes, he goes, nah, dude, I won't do it. He goes, why did you ask the question ever? <laughs> well, because if here's where we're at. <laughs> I, I was thinking, like, is the show going too quick? Is there like, should I do some time? Do you want me to do me a little palate cleanse, or am I just going like off your energy? And then the minute I touch the microphone, uh, instead of going, you got let's want we got more. You want more? <laughs> fucking, ah! I touch the microphone. And you could feel the energy just fucking e-break in the room. <laughs> People go, oh, he's back. I'm going to go fucking get a pretzel. And then I'm like, so you guys like concerts or anything? And I fucking brick, dude. And then so the first joke bombs. So I'm like, I got to get him back. So I try a second one. That bombs even fucking harder. And then I just go, wow, I really sucked the energy out of that. And some guy goes, nice job in the crowd. <laughs> That's great. And then I come back to you with your arms crossed after just fucking leveling the room. Oh, I got it on video. <laughs> oh my yeah just me eating it well, you walked off the stage i just like, look right at you you look right at me you go i fucking ate that one <laughs> <laughs> i was like oh i'm so glad i was recording <laughs> i felt like such shit dude i felt like such shit because i was man i don't know so this weekend at uh at levity i never do this ever but they're laughably a laughable situation and again i will say this i don't blame the comedians at all i'll never do that um in this situation the club levity live i was like yeah i'm bringing justin to feature mm-hmm. and uh book local book local host whoever you guys want and we'll, you know was it give somebody a shot to host mm-hmm. you know no matter the two it was two guys different guy each two night. guys different guy each night okay the first night was an old older hispanic guy very nice with cab <laughs> calloway hair you know like the <laughs> fucking you know the, the super uh like combed back Hispanic hair, like the guy definitely owns like a trombone mute. You ever think of like a firm of trombone? Like a, yeah, trumpet, yeah, a, trumpet, a trumpet mute, yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> trombone mute. <laughs> the guy definitely owns a trombone. Fucking Lou Bega. Yeah, he has a fucking stash of hats. Mambo number five. Thursday night hat, Friday night hat, Saturday night hat. Yeah. And from the little I watched, a zoot suit. <laughs> his hand was in and out of his pocket so many times, and it's the that thing of watching somebody have to like they're faking comfort <laughs> no. do you know what I mean like they're faking like the hands yeah. in the pockets it's like yeah this is actually how it always goes and, you're like, yeah. nah. and by the way maybe that's also the thing too I might be mistaking the comfort of them just going like this is about how I do you know when I go on like alright so he was having a rough time and I just watched him bring up Justin yeah when he brought up Justin he goes he goes so I want you to make some noise right now for Jay Silver and then while Justin's walking up, he goes, he goes, oh, he goes, sorry, Jason Silver. And then walked off <laughs> oh, the thing, geez. got it wrong oh, twice. Oh, man. What did Justin do? 
Uh, nothing. He was, I may have corrected him when he got up there, but nothing was, shitty. I think that was at the end of the set. No. Was, no? no? That was how he brought him up? That's how he brought him up. Oof. <laughs> it was hilarious. I mean, you just got as a host, all you have to do is know the guy's name. Oh. Pretty much. Bobby. You might be right. Might have like, been give it up for, because the then you went up and right. you said the right name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, Okay, you might Chris, be right. Christine yeah. was right. Yeah, at the end. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. What? Christine was right. I didn't say, you're wrong, cunt. I was like, no, I said before, I, I said it was his intro, did, and then I said, you're right. right. I said, said you were right. I, well, you could say, I'm sorry. But what do I have to apologize for? Just say, I'm sorry, you were right. It's hard for Jay to say, I'm sorry. It's hard for Jay to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just want you to know. After all, Christine now. has been through. Um, this isn't an apology situation. Oh, okay. I'll make it I mean, up to you. do you feel like there's an apology? Is it there? You said, was no, it wrong? I got that you were right. I was wrong. Yeah. I, I all right. That. I'm never helping you again. How's that, you abused woman? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you never help. You're trying to catch her. You're trying to get her. You see a girl getting hit Bobby, in the parking lot. Are you trying lot? to get me in trouble? Stay the fuck dude, away. Yeah. You're trying to get her. She goes, mind your her, business, prick. Yeah, mind you your You want her to get her third bruised rib of the season? <laughs> <laughs> he treats me fine. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, asshole. Yeah, I'm sure My Dr- fault. I'm sure Drake stuck up for that guy, too. <laughs> so, yeah, Jason Silver. And then when he brought your ex, it was all in the one shot. Because then he, when he brought me up, he goes, and I did say something on stage the second show. And then he sent me like a. DM apology but I was like buddy I kind of made it funny like there's nothing to apologize it's fine but just those intros where he goes up and goes uh, alright y'all goes, how many people here listen to the bonfire oh god you know and it's like <laughs> like a uh, smatter oh, shit. Yeah, he goes, mitten claps I don't, need, I, don't, I don't need to know the truth yes that, exactly I don't, I don't need to know exactly. how many you guys here to see Robert Kelly just two people. Exactly. Uh, exactly. How many people wore their t shirt and their free tickets? How many people for Legion of Skanks? Ah. Uh, that and then and then how many goes, people's birthday and they got ten free tickets? <sighs> <sighs> Actually, I'm doing I'm doing his intro a disservice because he has he first thing he goes, he goes, Y'all ready for Big J Okerson? And then they were like, you know, yeah, they started like cheering. And then he goes, he goes, who listens to the bonfire? That's what he said. Who listens to the bonfire? This smattering. Who listens to Legion of Skanks? They've already kind of cheered for my name. And he goes, well, let's get him out of here, huh? Big J. I'm like, what are you, a college student? <laughs> what is this, morning radio? Jay came out it. like reluctantly. He's like, was that, am I supposed to walk out now? <laughs> oh my yeah. God. I was like, he said, this... it's weird to be intro and like once you say the person's name, that's nah, the intro. It's the worst. <laughs> it's the worst. It's the it was, worst. It was wacky. So then we all had a good chuckle at that. Very nice guy. He, uh, the next night's a different dude, younger, like a rock and roll-y guy. He's 30, he was like 30-something years old. But he was like rock and roll like in like the the skinny guy way, like T-shirt, like, like the belt, the jingly belt, and the the tight, like red, like leathery almost kind of pants with like crazy shoes and shit. And uh, maybe guy liner. A lot of wrist stuff. It, Looks it, like we may be dwelling in the David same. David Lee Raw sounds, like, <laughs> sounds like Josh. <laughs> I know. Right? No, 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 Josh no. in disguise. Hey, how you doing? No, no, no. This guy's like wearing like it's like flary. <laughs> it's like more like more. Fl- No, 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 Josh no. in disguise. Hey, how you got doing? <laughs> no, no, no. This guy's like wearing like it's like flary. <laughs> it's like more like more flashy, right? Like flashy rock and roll, yeah. uh, Motley Crueish. David yeah, for Lee sure. Roth looking. No, no, Motley Crue is the perfect thing. Like Nikki Six ish. Oh, but wow. skinny, but skinny, very skinny. Heroin chic. Yep. The bandanas hanging off. The, all these things, by the way, that I'm not against any yeah, of this. Yeah, because you have all of it. Uh, all of it. <laughs> he had a wallet chained to an actual wallet. Yeah. Yes, he's probably doing the actual thing right that I'm not doing. <laughs> he actually tied his own scarf to the mic stand and had to untie it before yeah. he got there. <laughs> he's like, I need this to boot up later. <laughs> so <laughs> he went up there to both shows. And I mean, on the first show, he was doing his thing. It's just... No hosting thing at all. They're like, you know, make some noise for your host, blah, blah, blah. And he goes on stage and it's right away he goes, hi, everybody. And then it's essentially like, do you ever fuck a baby and then realize something, something, black people rape? <laughs> <laughs> like, it was just like, and the crowd, the crowd was like, 
What? <laughs> and then his big thing was to say something like that, right? He goes, did you ever, you know when you're getting fist fucked in the thing and you turn around and go to kiss him and realize it's your grandpa? And he would just make this crazy smile and they would not laugh and he'd go, it's going to get worse. Oh. And I'd go, why? Who keeps announcing that when they're trying to get people to like them at a show? <laughs> oh, you hate that? It's going to And then he'd do something like, here's another. Rape your grandma. Piss on her corpse. Fuck shit. Oh, my God. Retard, faggot. And then it's like, everyone's like, and he goes, <laughs> yeah. It's like, and it's like, I, I call it you can't handle it comedy. Yeah. They can all handle it. You're delivering them a bucket of shit. Yeah, yeah. but meanwhile- They can also, all handle it. Meanwhile, people are taking their jackets off, going like, off the pretzel bites. Yeah. Like, the show's just started. I, I like, hate, the whole night's just- <laughs> and, and they'll usually go like this. You can't handle me. Wait till Bob Kelly gets yeah. out here. Yeah, oh, you think I, you I, can't like, handle oh, that. fuck. Don't I've had to say- stop. I've had to stop that. Don't say my name. Right. Only say my name when you bring me up. Mm -hmm. I don't, don't use me. Oh, you here to see. When you bomb and they go, you here to see Robert Kelly, that's not why you're bombing. Right. The, it, my <laughs> don't fans, put this on me. My <laughs> fans love stand up, funny stand up. It's not on me. Right. Don't bring me up like, ah, oh, exactly. yeah, wait till Bobby gets up here. Go fuck yourself. I've right. had, I've had one come, it's come, they come back in the room. And like, if I ask, like, how is it? They'll be like, nah, they're kind of like dead. And you're like, I mean, I'm drawing the crowd. Yeah. So like, they're not dead. Yeah. They're not like, and they're not offended. That's the other thing too. Like this guy, the problem was this guy couldn't even get the oohs and ahs of offensive because they're not offended. They're just like waiting for it to be funny. <laughs> they're just waiting for a laugh. Oh, and at one point when he did that line, he goes like, you know, something, uh, cum dump, fist fuck, grandma, <laughs> rape. Indians, Oriental. <laughs> Indians. <laughs> Indian Oriental. Indian uh, Oriental. He said some punchline and he goes, it's going to get worse. And some oh. guy goes, impossible. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I love when the crowd is funnier than the comic. It makes oh, me so happy. That's... It was really the first show. and The second show was better than the first show. The first show it was like crickets. And he, there was just no like tools in the shed to like change <laughs> what was going on. He has no, no pivot. No pivot. No yeah. Yeah, there was that's no pivot, fishy. and I'm not putting. It, that's why I'm not saying his name. I think he's got, he's been not been doing comedy a long time. He's older, but he's not been doing comedy too long. And you know, here's the thing: they looked the at thing you, that, they looked at you, and they were like, "Oh, he'll be perfect for Jay's show." And it's right. like, no, Jay's show wants somebody funny, funny, funny. I was up in Poughkeepsie at Laugh It Up, Poughkeepsie. The town sucks, but the club is fucking awesome, and the host was fuck. I I brought my guys with me. Uh, Joe Russell and uh, little Max and the host was awesome like he went up out of the gate not even that much crowd work which I love mm. just into jokes yeah. and was murdering up front yep. which is great because that gets them into jokes but yeah. some semblance in yep. the beginning of just acknowledging goes thank you guys for all being Something. out here yep. it's like uh, That's blah, blah, the thing. Like, good looking audience here and then if you use the audience to jump into your S jump into your, your, set. your bits is fine or you could hey, listen don't overkill the crowd with crowd work because also it's just a weird thing for a host to do it doesn't get the crowd well, set at all right. get, but if they get into jokes you're actually training the crowd like oh we're going to hear jokes yes right and then the right. next guy goes up and does jokes right and then if you know a little bit here and there but then by the time you get up they're in the mode of they've been hearing jokes they got their drinks they ate their food they're ready to right you are a you are there to facilitate the headliner yeah just the get last on base guy get on base like That's what it. you did at, at, at by the way paramount was fucking great you went out and murdered and killed it, got everybody into jokes and set it up for Lewis to keep going. And then, I mean, you ruined it between me and Jay, but the thing is, <laughs> I mean, you really put the brakes on. Yeah. But the thing is- <laughs> I'm, Dude, I hate myself No, for that. no, you're great, dude. What are you gonna do, dude? I called him the next day. I didn't sleep all But day. I mean, like, but to <laughs> no. go up there, and to go up there and like, Bury the show. You know, uh, Josh gave a nice compliment to Justin because he saw it on both shows, but he was just like, really like- Way to recover. On, on all shows. It's like, damn, like, Justin, these crowds went from looking out of the gates like, oh, this is, like, bad, and they're not my fans, like, crowd, well, to being like Justin being like, oh, no. Well, like Justin knows fine. how to get them. Like, Jesus, they were fine. They were all good crowds. Don't yeah. you feel every like crowd, Every too? crowd at Levity, by the way, I would say, was a great crowd. I had a, there wasn't a show there that I didn't think was a good show. Because you, 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 like, Justin went up and did jokes. And you've yeah. harvested good comedy yeah, but, fans but That's what I'm saying. Years. I was about to yeah. But when you see, hear that someone dying so much in the beginning, the reason he wasn't being, like, heckled and whatever it was what I thought was interesting on the second show when we watched him he would have like one out of every eight we'll say because they were pretty quick one-linery type things 
one out of every eight would get like a little laugh, which is what made me know. I go, oh, this is my audience because they're giving him a chance. Like they're just trying. They're like, we know it's only going to be 15 minutes, but it's like, yeah. you know, so they're waiting. So if it would be seven tanks in a row, the one that had like a little funny, quirky line, they would go like, huh. Yeah. Clubs, clubs are getting mad at comics now because we're bringing our own guys because we got, I got sick of showing up and having that type of guy kind of tanked the show so now i have to it was getting to the point where the host and the middle guy would tank i would have to start the show <laughs> with my set so now they're getting mad that we're bringing comics because they one guy said you know you guys keep bringing your own acts you're ruining local comedy <laughs> in the town it's like well make local comics better yeah open on a wednesday and give them open mics and showcases I so mean, they can work on their yeah, shit or do you, guest spots don't or whatever blame us it's right. your fault because right. whatever you're doing isn't working right put the best comics on the weekends yep. and, and and let that it's not my fault that your guy blows yeah well that's the other thing i guess it came up like they, i mean the, the, the club acknowledged it to me to some degree or to justin even he said which i thought was a weird thing, not that he's wrong, but it's a weird way to put it. Because he said to Justin, he goes, ah, well, at least, you know, made it easy for you, right? You can go up. Know what he means. Because it is true. Because they were a good crowd, all you had to do was show, it's like, the, the, the lifting is easy. You didn't have to, like, prove yourself. Like, the host just went up there and murdered. Now you got to go up there and, like, keep that pace. Like, if you have what you would consider to be a okay set, you've changed the face of this night already. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, it is easier in that regard because their expectations are so low that you can, can kind of get up there. Although I just said, I'd rather every person make the next person work a little right. harder, myself included. Like, yeah. you know, go up there and fucking blow it out of the water. So I'm going to go up there. I should be able to follow that. Right? Should, That's my the, job. The show needs to escalate. escalate from the beginning. Like on our show at the Paramount, everybody left there that night going, was fucking awesome. <laughs> That's what I kind of like. <laughs> they, they were, they were, I'm fucking with you now. But they, they, everybody who I talked to after the show was like, the whole show, because it's The great. whole show is perfect. You, they, yeah. I just took like a minute and a half piss between you guys. So as far as I'm concerned, the whole the show whole is show phenomenal. Was I, I did too. I took a piss on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember it being bad. I don't know. Oh, it was fucking awful. Well, I mean, I genuinely was saying I just don't remember like the... Don't you know what's so funny too is that like I, I, I did a couple of shows on the road with Attell where it was just me and him, mm -hmm. where it was like I'd go up and do like a half hour and then he'd go up and do like 40... 45, but and then bring me out and we would fuck around a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. And doing that longer host slash feature set up front mm. i really loved it because it was able for me like to kind of you know take a couple sentences couple minutes in the beginning warm tell you guys a little bit about myself boom into my set you know yeah. because i think about it we've all gone to shows we're fans of things you watch you go to a comedy show people's fucking cars are still warm mm -hmm. they're taking their jackets off they're ordering yeah. drinks and someone's up there going like yeah, rape's not uh, you know, whatever. And it's like, <laughs> pump the fucking brakes. You know, you know, by like, the way, I have nothing off, I have, again, unoffended, nothing's off limits. Like, I don't even give a shit, honestly, if the host is like a super dark, whatever, but it's like, it's gotta like, work. Like, it's, it's gotta, gotta do well. I, your subject matter means nothing to me. Go up there and be filthy. I'm filthy. As long as it's funny. Yeah. I, that's why well, I used to, I used to love paste. the challenge. You know what? I used to love the challenge. I'd bring Josh, would go on the road with me for uh, about two years. He was out with me a bunch. Uh, Josh Adam Myers and I like that you go up there and she's like you know taking off layers because he's sweating can I sit on a stool now and keep the energy like the well, same that's what you I showed you is that I was very impressed with because I you know Mike went up Lewis went up it just and I went up and killed it yeah. and I walked off and I, I I knew like you walked out and sat on the stool and you you did what Bennington did does what what Patrice did you you okay cool that was that part of the show and now here's this part and it was so good, it didn't matter. Every They didn't even understand the transition between any of us. It just went from comic to comic to comic, and it was it was four different styles of comedy. That, well, there was that fifth style between us. That was, that fifth style kind of died <laughs> off. But He goes, uh, the fifth style no one talks about? I hope the windows are locked you know, outside yeah, this fucking... Yeah, I'll tell you what they, <laughs> what they did. It, what they did that I was so impressed in, in Poughkeepsie at Laugh It Up, at the end... At the beginning of the show, the host went up and goes, listen, I'm the host. I'm going to be bringing the comics up, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the, you're getting your checks at the end. I'm coming after Robert. Well, there's no checks during Robert. Yeah. I'm going to come back up at the end. went back up. It was like, guys, give it up. A great show. Started just rapping with him a little bit. It's great. And talking to him. 
and it wasn't bad. They dropped the checks. Nobody died. Everybody paid for their bill, and they got a complete show. He went over some stuff that's coming up, blah, like 10 minutes up there, and they dropped all the checks. No fucking check spot. That's beautiful. These, these clubs that think they, they, they're so stuck in the 90s yeah. that they have to drop the check to turn the room over is the most ridiculous thing ever. Well, it takes 10 you don't even, minutes. You also don't even need the guy no. to stay up there. Really well, and also it's nowadays, nice. I, actually, nice. I think it's great because it he's ta- it's good for no, him. Sure, sure. I'm saying it's not sure. a bad thing. I'm yeah. just saying it my point. It caps the night. It caps the night off. He's up there. They know who he is. He's already talked to him. He's, they know he's funny. Check and, drops are so not necessary now oh. with Venmo and credit cards and fucking everything. It, I mean, it's such a piece of cake. Just give a card. It's the dominant. It you're literally saying, all right, you came to see Big J and we're going to fucking distract you in the last 15 minutes of his yeah. set. We're going to put a thing on your table where you're going to have to talk and figure shit out. It what is ridiculous. Like, isn't there just like tab, like bar possibility at a comedy club? Christine, you would know this better. Where as soon as you sit down, the first time they come to your table, uh, whose card are we putting down or whatever? You know, and yeah. just run the card and then just the end, give them the receipt. The comedy, when I, when I, I recorded, like just rip now. the receipt, yeah. just drop the receipt. It's recorded, like you're done. It's like every comedy, time you order, it's com- being paid comedy for. Comedy Connection is working on something where you just scan on your phone and you order off your phone. That's and they just weird. I, I, then I just got with their that, phones though, everybody out. With their phones out. It's kind of a well, thing. You know, I, I was, at Vermont Comedy Club, when I recorded the, movie the, theater does when I recorded the, the album years ago, I go, can you just do the checks after? And they go, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take a credit card when we seat them. Yeah, that's what I mean. And and then they had a card, and they go, if it's cool, we're just going to charge this. You guys deal with it after because we're recording, and we don't want to have a check drop. Nobody the- wants to be interrupted during the guy they came to see. No. Nobody wants it. Nobody Even does. during Mike's early work at the Vermont Comedy Hey, Club. so when I was doing jazz <laughs> comedy, so you, what do you like about, about having me out on the road with you? Whoa. Uh, they do a great job <laughs> wow. with their shows, and we fucking have killer hangs. What a dog shit fucking answer that wow. was. Whoa. That's a perfect day. What do you mean? That was very vague. Wow. Uh, it was a canned Mike, answer. I want to know, what do you like I about- I take time- Do you want me to start singing? I talk to you- do you every, want me to start bringing day, my guitar? Every day this is to not spend time with Christine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hey, Karma got me this weekend with uh, fucking up, you know, you guys, because I went on the up. road with the Jokers, and I had a, com- a comics nightmare, like waking up from a nightmare of like it's fourth grade and you're in your underwear in front of the class. I had to go up in front of 2,500 people three hours before the show, completely lost my voice. Totally oh. lost my fucking voice. I had to go up and go, I'm sorry, I lost my voice last night. And I had to do the whole set whispering. 20 fucking minutes whispering. Mm. Couldn't do any intonations, raising, lower. Like, the, all of the shit that, like, you need. Yeah. It's the only thing I need. I could have lost a fucking leg, mm. and I would have been fine. Man, that's a... I've 20 had that. minutes, no voice. It I was, had that at a college. I was so, I was literally eating lemons. I did everything I could. I just sat there at a college and I was like, yeah. I did, all I did was put on a voice. I was like, listen, man, the things are wild. <laughs> I just started talking like I did. Yeah, this this crazy world we live in. If you drink uh, your own, <laughs> if you drink your own semen, that cures that. I was drinking throat That's coat. True. Which that is true. Throat coat tastes like the water that is in a vase four days after you buy flowers. <laughs> yeah, it's the most it really disgusting does. shit. It's gross. Yeah. I like though. I like. Hopefully, me and Bobby just had somebody else kind of go, dude. It didn't fucking bring my voice back. <laughs> oh, you did that. You ate your own cum because we said that. What are we doctors? You idiot. <laughs> <laughs> we watched uh we watched Roadhouse. Did you watch it yet? Yes. I did. I we don't there's not enough time on the show for no, me to give my no. thoughts. It's a, we have to take a break. Uh, but Roadhouse oh, yeah, watched that as a, a move a new movie that didn't exist. It might have had a different taste on my palate. Yeah. But because I love Roadhouse so much, I love point break. What they've done. I love Roadhouse. What they've done <laughs> was nothing short of a travesty. And I said this in the beginning. I yeah. brought I watched it in two parts. First forty five minutes on the buildup, I was willing to go. I was like, you know what? I don't hate this, but I'm, uh, I hate what they've done. They yeah. didn't have to do this. Yes, no. it's just not necessary to do it. For the last forty five minutes, that story, that story. I don't use the word evolved because it didn't evolve at all. It was the most under evolved movie I've ever seen. I don't give a fuck about a character in that movie. Yeah, it was two. The bad movies. guy was shown three times total. Yep. Uh, Conor McGregor was just a cartoon, dumb. It didn't make any sense. Like, you didn't know who he was or the problem. There was he the wasn't even, he wasn't even was the not... henchman for the bad guy. It was like his dad. Yep. It made it, like he couldn't die. It's like a it's comedy. You know what? He it, couldn't die. 
That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, the ending was the ending was. The, it reminded I mean, me of like, it, it, you, like Bob Odenkirk, nobody. You remember that? Sure. Yeah. It's like that and Cobra Kai version of Roadhouse. No, you're right because because nobody was fucking great. No, you didn't like no. nobody. You didn't like nobody? No, no, no. I thought you were saying nobody was great in no, 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 I'm Roadhouse. So, no, no, I'm so, oh, no, the movie. No. <laughs> nobody was phenomenal. Uh, Bob Odenkirk, nobody. It great. It's so good because there wasn't there was comedy in it for sure. But one, it's a fresh movie, right? Even though that concept's been done. Yeah, it's, one John, man, it's John Wick. Sure, right. It's John one Wick man goes with a nuts, nerd. But you just make it. Uh, it was super cool. This. Oh, we have to take a break. I know. We gotta take a break. Yeah. I, 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 got, I, got, I got a real review of this. I didn't mean to bring. It I got up. a real review. I want to dig into this. So, did you uh, watch absolutely. it too, Jacob? I, I want the long version of this review. You'll get it. You'll get it tomorrow, Jacob. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Guys, I'm looking for people to come to be in the audience while I shoot. Uh, should I say where? Are we saying where? Should we not say where? <laughs> it's in Union, Union Square. Square. In Union Square, New York. Uh, that's this Wednesday, March 27th, 10.30 a.m. I would need people there. I need, we're, <laughs> we're having a, I'm shooting a trailer for the crowd work uh, shows I did. We're shooting a trailer to try to sell this thing. So we had a funny idea. We're going to do it at the stand. Well, I just said it now. Uh, in New York. They'd find out soon enough anyway. But I need about 30 people at least to come be an audience for a fake thing we're going to do and shoot. So uh, if you could, if you want to be a part of that, everybody, uh, email Big J, B I G J A Y, Big J Crowdwork at gmail.com. More letters, Christine. Big J, <laughs> Big J Crowdwork at gmail.com. If you'd like to come and we'll get the information to you, uh, if you want to be part of that, I could use you. So and make sure you I check out. I think Mikey's going to be there too. Make sure you check out our YouTube page, youtube.com uh, slash at the bonfire. And we get the podcast no, at the Bonfire Radio. At the Bonfire Radio, and make sure you check out the podcast uh, we got out there. And uh, we got uh, we got where where is Mike this weekend? Where are you doing, Mike? What's going on? Vermont, Vermont Comedy Vermont. Club. Vermont Comedy, one of my favorite clubs. I love that. That's club where he did his old. That's where he did his classic album back in the day. Dude, classic. You have <laughs> to you have to go to the dumpling place up there. The little Asian lady. So great. Oh my god. I go to the Pinwheel and Breakfast. Big place J too. is going to be. Uh, I'm in Vegas this weekend. In Vegas this weekend at Wise Guys. He's going to be. Uh, He's going to be at Jacksonville, Virginia Beach, San you Diego. Have to go through all of them. Big Bobby J Kelly's, Bobby Kelly's going to be at the Riot Comedy Festival. Don't you ever cut me off when I'm plugging I know, you. you're my thing. Uh -huh. Who needs to hear my bullshit? <laughs> uh, Bobby's going to be at the Riot Comedy <laughs> Festival, Houston, I don't like Thursday, your humbleness. April 4th. I'm stupid. I'm nothing. <laughs> this is the show you want to see. No, you go see Jay. Comedy Mothership in Austin, Texas. Sold out. Uh, Come LOL, see me at Boston. LOL San Antonio. Very fun club. You're going to like that. Uh, Lafayette, Boston, Sarasota, all on deck for tickets and all tour dates. Go to Bobby, oh sorry, RobertKellyLive.com. Go to PunchUp.Live. Go to PunchUp.Live. Go to PunchUp.Live. And go to punch up. Watch my special. We'll, we'll be right back to say goodbye, I think. Don't let me down. And don't let me down, special. Mike Who's special. Dog belly. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Robert.